and then you get the key open. As it slides open, uh, there are two shotguns inside, uh, a case of rounds. Uh, there is also a keg of gunpowder. Outstanding. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 wait, wait. I, I believe when we came into town, Dave, you told us of a certain Civil War yeah. era cannon I wasn't just that lying about. You to do anything with Am it. Am I wrong? <laughs> G'day, welcome to Stream of Chaos, my name is Dave, and I'll be a Keeper of Arcane Lore for this session of Call of Cthulhu, as well as probably the next few sessions of Call of Cthulhu. Uh, today we are concluding Chapter 1 of A Time to Harvest, uh, you can get your own Kelpie from chaosium.com. Um, in other news, uh, the RuneQuest Glorantha starter set uh, was released just earlier this week, and uh, copies are available from chaosium.com. I saw that it's like sold out in the UK, so they're sending a new shipment there as well, which is pretty cool. Um, Any like authors a... and designers in there that we should know about? It's so funny you mention that, Jackson, and so organically. Uh, I yeah, know. There's a solo adventure that I'm assured is pretty sweet, because Jim and I wrote it, <laughs> which was very cool. We, we had a great time working on the project, so uh, you should definitely check that out. Um, additionally, tickets for the inaugural Chaosium Con are on sale. Um, it's being held in Ann Arbor, Michigan on April 8th and 9th in 2022. That's next year. Uh, and there'll be all sorts of like LARPs, sessions, panels, uh, like a chance to get together and hang out. So uh, if you're interested, I do hope we'll see you there. Um, starting next week, we'll be getting chapter two of A Time to Harvest. And uh, to kind of celebrate that and give it a little push, we will be doing a giveaway on the stream. So, if you want to join us live on the Chaosium Twitch channel at 3pm Pacific, uh, you'll get a chance to enter to win a PDF copy of A Time to Harvest. Um, as I always, intend to enter and win and then get the uh, advantage of the campaign for myself. That's my cunning plan. I will consider that an honourable conquest and absolutely <laughs> allowed. I think if you get in there first, best dressed, all the power to you. Right. Also, if you just buy the coffee, Jackson, you're free to read whatever you want, man. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I'm not gonna pay to win. Uh, he's got gonna some sense it. of honor, I guess. Uh, hey, David, on that note, can we just like slip you fifty bucks for a few bonus die? Yeah, dude, I'll take bribes. I <laughs> no sense of whatever would be required to turn that away. Yeah, absolutely, bribes. Bribe you with like coffee? Yeah, yeah, Melbourne coffee Done. culture, general mm -hmm. attention. Uh, you could also be mean to me and threaten me. And I'll probably give you bonuses as well. I'm easily swayed. I don't. I don't hide the fact. Cool. If you kill my character, you're fucking dead. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> might be a shallow grave for me next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, as always, thank you to Roll Twenty and Sirenscape <laughs> for being great tools which help us to run Call of Cthulhu. Uh, and without further ado, let's see what this disastrous storm holds. Um, so, uh, last week. Uh, our three investigators return to Cobb's Corners in pursuit of secrets like and horrible, horrible chumps. things. Yeah, like a bunch of idiots. Um, this storm that's been building and building over several uh, days has finally broken and rolling thunders coming down from the mountains, lightning flashes in the background and uh, lightning illuminates the road in front of all three of you who are separated but all travelling back to Cobb's Corners. As we meet each of the investigators, it's about four, no, it'd be later even, it'd be about 4 p.m., 5 p.m. at this point. Um, and Sebastian and Chaz are in the back of Fred Karner's truck, returning from Agnes Bellwether's like isolated witch hut um, out in the, in, in the farms. And rain is just heaving down around you. And let's meet each of the investigators, uh, beginning with Art. Hi, I'm Art. Still. Uh, and I am Consistent. playing, yeah, I know, right? Uh, I am still playing Sebastian McCarthy, one of the McCarthys at the Miskatonic University, although if everything goes horribly tits up, possibly one of the ex-McCarthys at Miskatonic University, mm -hmm. who knows? Um, I don't know, Seb has, <laughs> Seb has money, uh, and if you get on his bad side, he will put you in hospital. Very good. Pretty much, pretty much what you need to know. Um, so over the last few sessions, like tension's been slowly building in Cobb's Corners and also amongst the students and things. And you've got a general sense of like, 
like Blaine's been acting weird and it's just as if like, you know, walls are closing in around you. How is Seb handling all of this? Um, I mean, I think for the most part, Seb hasn't actually experienced anything particularly disquieting with the exception of that freaky fucking photo or mm -hmm. picture drawing, drawing from last uh, session. I think he's like a little on edge in that he's not entirely sure what's going on, but he's not rattled yet simply because like, you know, tree branches haven't ripped someone through a window in front of him yet. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. Okay. So, so still you've got room to fall. Oh, so I've, I have, I have lost no sanity and my sanity started 80. <laughs> okay, alright. So Seb is currently quite sane. Post up um, in the front, prim and proper. And also has almost as much luck. So, okay. you know, we'll see if that gets him through the day. Well armed for the final session of chapter one. <laughs> okay. Um, with Sebastian in the front seat, uh, Chaz is seated in the back, in charge of making sure the phonograph doesn't explode. Alright, and what an excellent job he's doing. Uh, hi, I'm Jackson, and I'm playing Chaz Dedrick. Uh, who is a little bit spooked, a little bit concerned about all of this nonsense we're uncovering because there's quite a lot going on in this tiny town. Monsters and curses and cultists, oh my. Um, his strategy so far is just to sit and be quiet until there's something he can punch. That seems like the winning strategy. Probably works in a lot of scenarios. Can, yeah. Um, you've been seeing or you saw several lights flashing in the hills the previous day and you think you might have seen some earlier today as well as you're driving back like you can't see very far you can only just make out the trees on the side of the road and fred's driving pretty slowly are you on the lookout for more things oh, are you yeah. nervous are yeah you yeah 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 confident? there uh there are some more lights out there we, there we, we saw some lights when we pulled up mm -hmm. right um yeah keep an eye out for lights that seems like a good thing I don't know what horizon. I'll do about them, but I'd like to know if they're there. It's best to see them coming, right? All right, perfect. Don't, don't walk towards. Yeah, stay in the car. <laughs> uh, finally, uh, James is playing living. Katie, who probably had the roughest time at the end of last session. Uh, things went a little hectic when Blaine once again didn't turn up. The students fled down to the buses. One of them was ripped from the windows and they began hurtling down. So as we see Katie once again, you are driving at full speed down the mountain in the bus dead by Harry Higgins. And James, would you please introduce your investigator? Absolutely, yes, I am James. I am playing Katie Wilkes, who is a nerd's nerd, the nerdiest person who ever did walk the halls of the Miskatonic University. In Call of Cthulhu, there's often like a background, you know, researcher character, someone who stays safe, someone who doesn't get out in front of all the action. And that led me to promptly go out in the middle of the night, get my mind uh, erased or mutated by some strange spirit, and then go exploring during a rainstorm. And now I'm in this damn bus barreling down a hill with strange monsters pulling students out of it. It's great, because of course, I have all the useful skills of this situation, like library use and history <laughs> and all that kind of great stuff. I don't know, what did, what did, what did Dave say? Uh, spells are just math at high speed? Good exactly, math, right? and I, I do have uh, 50 in mathematics, so this should be absolutely fantastic. I can calculate that statistically, I'm pretty screwed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, perfect, I'm so glad to hear I said that. It's very intelligent sounding. Um, <laughs> All right. Uh, One of the few things you said that actually stuck with me. Make sure it's written down. I want it on a plaque somewhere. Um, okay, so let's pick up with Seb and Chaz first. Yes, we absolutely do. So um, Fred is posted up at the front and he's sort of like hunched over the wheel and trying to look out and peer through the rain to see the road ahead. The rain is coming down in sheets all around you and Seb, you're parked in the, in, in the passenger seat with Chaz in the back holding the phonograph and looking nervously out the windows. Um, Seb, you're pretty like a uh, good psychology and you can tell that Fred is is nervous. He's um, peering across and he doesn't feel safe. He stops regularly um, to like make sure the car doesn't slide any further and you've made very slow progress back towards Cobb's Corners. As uh, thunder rolls once more and lightning flashes illuminating the edge of the road which dips down steeply towards trees beyond, he looks out and he goes, 
The storm's gonna be pretty bad out there. Hey, you guys are staying at that um the the farmhouse, right? Uh, are, are you gonna be safe there tonight? Why um, wouldn't we be? It's been standing this long, hasn't it? Sure, sure. It just this is pretty bad. Um, Would you recommend staying oh staying in town instead? I I I don't know. There's there's not a whole lot of options. We we don't have a a motel or or, or nothing. But um. If, if you do get in there, maybe just stay away from windows and things, yeah? Where, where do you want to be dropped off, by the way, once we get back? We're going to be going past the farmhouse soon. I can steer you in there, or do you want to go back to town? Uh, I think it's probably best for us to be in town. That's where we're, we'll be meeting the rest of our uh, companions. Um, yeah. Seems that it would make the most sense to, to meet them, and then we all decide whether we head back for the evening or whether we... Ask the reverend for succor in the church. Sure, sure, okay. Um, seems to like Seb says it jokingly. May or may not yeah. be a joke. <laughs> um, he flinches as lightning flashes again, and he jumps on the brakes, and the whole thing skids forward. There's something like laying across the road. One of the trees has fallen a little bit, and in the rain, he he goes, or someone's gonna have to get out and and and, and move that." Um. I don't mind, and he pulls up like the handbrake, or um, uh, Mr. Dedrick, if you would. Yeah, all right. I can do that. <laughs> Put down the phonograph. Right. Walking. I, can, can, I don't have a lot of psychology, but this entire town seems to be against. I do have a lot of psychology. Hey. Uh, this entire town seems to be against us. Is uh, is Fred got our best interests at heart here? Do you want to give me a psychology roll? I would love to. I don't know where I got this psychology from, but I'll use it. Well, now. I'll tell you. Tell me. Uh, with no hesitation, Fred is genuinely, seems just like a good dude. He oh, is He goodness. is very nervous, but it is for you. Um, and his, But his attention is distracted because he seems to be very eager to get back to his wife and his unborn child. Um, okay. He is just genuinely seems like a nice guy. Um he, he is nervous. Uh, that said, he is like beginning to be like amped up. The, the storm is is shaking him, which gives you the instinct that this is worse than they regularly get here. Um, but he doesn't seem to be leading you into a trap or anything. Well, that's fine then. Um, all right, I will uh, get out. Okay. And push whatever it is barring our way. You get out and immediately your boots like slide a little bit in the road and you begin to head over towards this fallen tree. It's not too big, it's just enough that you, the car could almost push it out of the way. Um, and Seb, as you see Chaz disappear into the rain, like heading towards the back, you lose sight of him for a moment. The flickering lights at the front of the truck um, don't illuminate too far. In the rain, Chaz, you can see that what's happened is something's hit this tree there's a car bent around it slightly um and the trees then tumbled down onto the road there's no immediate sign of anyone in the vehicle um but there are like like there's distressed mud and things around it where there's been some sort of movement or something's happened all right i will duck back to the car to the truck and just say hey someone's hit this tree there's a car out here i'm gonna see if anyone's inside Frank goes, right, hang on, um, let me just pull over. Uh, he drives the car a little bit over to the side um, and then stops it, gets out, pulls out like a poncho and pulls a hood up and will approach with you with a torch as well. Seb, what are you doing? Um, Not super jazzed about staying in a car alone at this point, so I think I will also get out, uh, you know, and... If I still have my giant umbrella, I will, uh... It will be destroyed in this storm. Oh, no, no! I'm not planning on using it as an umbrella. <laughs> that thing has a weighty fucking end if I need it. Okay. It's like, it's, a, it's one of those, like, proper, you know, like, with the silver, like, animal head kind of, oh, you know? Oh, what it's animal? Like what animal? You can't funer- tease that. What animal? I, uh, oh, I, I'm, I'm just... First Raven? thing that came to my head was eagle. Oh yeah, so it's yeah. just like one of like a like a falcon head or something like it's one of those ones where like if you if you clock the right way that beak is going straight into someone's fucking Ooh, like, yeah. face. I love uh, it. So it is, you know, it's a nice. It's it's at this point Seb's just like a, as I said, little on edge, not like mm-hmm. terrified, but just like mm, not sure about this. So yeah, not using it as an umbrella. Awesome. I just have it, uh, um, and I'll head out over to the car to assist because I also have a bit of first aid. So that's you know Seb is actually somewhat okay at healing if necessary. Okay. 
The three of you gather around this bent-in car um, with the rain around. It's immediately soaking through your clothing. What little wasn't already soaked. I mean, Chaz, you'd only just dried off from the previous time you had to get out. Um, and standing around the car, you can see there is no one inside. Uh, it looks as though the uh, driver's side door has been wrenched open. Like the, the oh, panel has been no. popped so it could be opened up. Um, and the back seat has scattered uh, papers and documents and things. Um, what are you guys doing? Frank, do you know whose car this is? Uh, Frank looks at it and he goes, I, 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 don't, I don't recognize it, not easily at least. Uh, there's only a few folks in... I see most folks in town probably have cars given it's farming community. That's not what he'd say. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, I, I, I don't recognize it. I want to have a quick look at the papers in the back. Okay. Just, uh, just, to, just to scan. Like through the window, like holding it up, like, you know, the, the, the torch light to peek through, or are you actually like getting in? Uh, if the door will open, I'll open the door just to get a better look at the power. But I'm not like, I'm not going to lean in to the car to like rifle. It's more like, can I see anything from where I am, either through the window or if I need to open the door if it opens. Sure. Uh, Seb's doing that. Chaz? No. Uh... Uh, if if two of the three of us are looking at the car, I'm going to be looking behind. Okay. I'm going to be scanning the horizon. All right. Uh, do you, so, uh, Seb, you look in the back of me to uh, look at some of the, the notes and things. Uh, Fred tries to get the door open a little bit further and look into, like, the, the driver's seat. Although, once he sees there's no one here, he will say, looks like whoever's here has already gotten help. We should probably get back soon. Um, Chaz, you notice that the ground around it is distressed. There's, like, marks and things. Do you have any track, or, or do you want to try and uh, examine those at all, or are you just I've focused got, on the woods? I've got base track, so I guess it's worth a shot, but uh, not confident. I will say, if you are crouching down to look at the tracks and things, you're less focused on your surroundings, it. so it's... it's. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to have a go at the track. One in ten. Okay. Um, give me a track roll. Nah. Okay. Um, it looks as though it looks as though there was quite a lot here. Either like a, a another car came up, or a, a number of people were around. There's boot prints, but basically the whole thing's torn apart. It's hard to tell anything much. Um, Seb, from the back, you can see the scattered documents. You did go inside. Uh, it looks like this is Richard Wendell's car and some of his documents in the back. The majority oh. are missing. Yep. Um, yep. And there's no sign of Chaz could have informed you like the duffel bag that he jammed stuff into. It looks like it's gone. Great. Uh, I will say nothing. I'll lean out and I'll just go. I'll indicate some some vocal indication of agreement with Fred to get back in the car. Okay. He begins to head back, and actually, while he's out, he'll just drag the tree a little bit. It's not like a massive one, it's just like a, a smaller, a couple of branches and things. He gets them off the road so that it's cleared again, and he heads back to the car and, and begins to pull it round. Uh, Chaz and Seb? Get it in the car. Can I have one last spot hidden on the horizon? Is that what you're uh, looking? Just the moment where it's too late to do anything about it because we're pulling away. You, like, get back towards the car and scan? Do you want to give me a spot hidden roll? May I? Never mind. You think you see something shifting in the trees, like a shadow that moves, but it's impossible to tell if it's not just tree branches swaying. The whole thing's pretty dark, and thick black or like grey clouds are obscuring the sun. It's pretty hard to see anything. Very good. Right. Three, if you get back into the car, I'm going to head back towards Cobb's Corners. Um, elsewhere, uh, Katie. Oh no. Um, you guys are in this bus screaming down the mountain. Harry Higgins, the red-headed Irishman, is a competent driver, as I think what we told uh, said last time. And he's at the front with that huge wheel trying to, like, wind it around corners. Uh, Roderick uh, Block is in the back near you. Um, and he keeps on looking out the windows trying to see if anything's there. Or look back towards where Clarissa was, like, tugged out of the broken glass and vanished into the storm outside. Uh, every now and then you, like, bang against the side as Higgins, like, goes a little bit off the road and, and slams into a couple of trees or things, but then gets it back. You can't help but remember the drive up as you wound up this mountainside. There are several quite steep drops off the side where, like, thin railing prevents people going over, but a bus this size will go straight through it and off the other side. Uh, how are you handling things? I am right up the front, uh, holding on to like the little uh, bar behind the driver's seat. And I'm alternating between uh, gazing up ahead and sort of going, Cavill, Cavill. And then as we slow down, looking back towards the whipping rain and uh, maybe occasionally catching a glimpse of some of those lights behind me, going, faster, faster. 
Um, so you're up the front, like, 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 looking, trying to look forward to see the road, alternating between the back. Occasionally, you think you can see a light flickering in the distance, but you burst out of whatever that fog was that surrounded you a little while ago. Um, and you're now, it's just the, the, the rain all around you. Higgins is swearing at the front and occasionally, like, wrenching it around as you swing, um, past cliff sides. And suddenly, um, the lights pick up. Uh, there's no, like, cat size or anything on the, uh, the, the fences, but it catches the wood, and he swings the thing around and tries to bring it about in time to stop you all going over the edge. Uh, I'm going to roll for him. I'm going to give him a bonus dice, because you said you were kind of helping out and keeping an eye on the road. All right, young fella. All right. Okay. That, that's okay. not great. No. And that's not going to be it either. Um, he manages to swing it around just enough to send the whole thing shuddering, but it punctures through several of the fence line over the edge a little bit, and then it begins to, like, stretch a little bit towards the side before hitting a tree and busting in most of the thing uh, severely damaged. Can you give me a dex roll immediately um, to see what happens as you throw yourself towards the side? Uh, that's a fail. Okay, take a d6 of damage. Oh my good god, that is a lot. As you've been in a car accident. Yeah, you were just gonna say car crash. I might oh. just pass out and die. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, make a constitution roll. Alright. Oh. Boom, I have a major wound, so I, I assume, like, uh, if, if I can, if I may, yeah, yeah, Dave, yeah. Um, as we go plummeting into the trees, uh, I sort of hit forward and a large tree branch kind of punctures into my side as, as I come through into it. So I've essentially been stabbed. Um, Look, that's I feel real bad. That's, yeah. uh, it's better than, that's probably better than what I had in mind. Which is, if you're holding onto that bar next to Higgins, just straight through the front windshield and into that tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's probably a little more instant death. So Higgins, like, wrenches the thing around, seeing the, the edge at the last moment, and it begins to uh, break through the, the fence line and then slam into this tree. You get punctured in the side, and as you look down, uh, there's blood beginning to pool um, underneath your, uh, mm. your your shirt. You have a major wound. Yep. Um, uh, what's, uh, the car has stopped uh, and looks to be fairly busted up. Uh, what's, your, what's your reaction? What are you doing? Fortunately, uh, our doctor, Clarissa, has been torn away by monsters. So I will kind of I look down, and I think I make this sort of little squeak panic noise and I will pull myself off the uh, the spike um, and kind of, uh, I, think, I think I pull my book bag over it and try and sort of like press it helplessly against my side. I look back and forward and I'm kind of torn here. I want to keep safe, that's what I need to do, but I don't know whether this is a run situation because if we just stay here, the fog will envelop us again and it will be complete death, or whether this is, okay, now we've cut, at least we've stopped, so like hunker down, try and, you know, uh, get under the bus. We tried to hunker down before, that really didn't work, but maybe we're far enough. You've, you've made good progress down the mountain. You'd probably uh, gotten down... Like, you are close to the point where... You, you are out of most of the mountains. You're now around the trees and things. Uh, it's probably a... If you were in the car without rain, it's probably only, like, a 10-minute drive from here into Cobb's Corners. In the rain, 20. Walking, 40. You know? Um, so you're pretty close here. Um, this was kind of, like, the last bend before uh, heading into town. Um, you begin to, like, 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 look down at the wound and figure out how you're going to deal with it. Um, Higgins is, like, standing in front of the wheel. He avoided most of the damage. Uh, he was, like, uh, winded slightly, but now he's just looking down at it. Block was at the back, and no seatbelt or anything was thrown down the center where he skidded and slammed into his arm. Uh, it's probably not broken, but it's pretty badly sprained. Um, and uh, Harry's uh, just, like, clenching the wheel and not looking as Block begins to, like, drag himself towards the front and assess the damage. As he comes up, he's going to go... What, 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 what do you... What do we do now? Um, uh, take, we we take a look at the we we take a look at the bus. See if we can see if we can see if it's busted. Uh, that seems like the best option to start with. Right. Okay. I can I can have a look, but it, it it's bad. I can I'll have a look out the front. Um, he heads to the the door, wrenches it open, and, and hops out in the rain and 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 assesses it. Um, Higgins, not looking up, says, "What the hell?" What the hell was that? What the hell got Clarissa? We can, we can, we can figure it out when we just, 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 just calm down. 
<laughs> I kind of yell at him, mostly yelling at myself. I'd like to rush down towards the back of the bus and peering out through the broken window that Clarissa was yanked through. Can I see through the rain and the fog? Is there any sign that I can see danger approaching? I'd like to make a spot hidden check, see if okay. I've gotten free. Uh, just before you roll that, um, can you first give me a sanity roll? Absolutely. Um, and this that is for sounds... the previous things and seeing Clarissa get... Hard success. You're good. No points lost. Okay. Um, go for a spot hidden. All right. I will wander over, taking deep breaths. <sighs> success. Okay. Um, there's like things moving in, in the things. You can see trees bending, branches blowing. Um, the rain makes it hard to see through anything, but there's no lights, at least, or, or not clear ones anywhere in the tree line. Um, nothing you can see, at least. Okay. Maybe um, from the good. front, a uh, block comes back into the, into, the, into the bus, and he goes, it's dead. No chance. This thing isn't going any further. Look, we're close enough from here, I say we just hike. I don't want to be in the damn mountains. Looking back and forth, I'm trying to think. Um, I think that there's none of them at least right outside. If we wait, they might catch back up. So if we're gonna go, now feels like the one chance that we have. And this close, uh, all right. Um, did Clarissa's bag get left behind or something like that? Can I snag that uh, as we go? Make a make a luck roll. Everything was done and it, it wouldn't have grabbed anything intentional, but you guys left the dig site in a rush? Yep. Dave, I'm so sorry. I forgot at the start of the session to do my luck oh, yeah, advancement. Yeah, do, do your so I'm going to do first. this now. So this is my luck advancement. Fail. Yeah, so I boost by 1d10 as per the Call of Cthulhu luck rules, bringing me up to 23 luck for this climactic final session, which means the luck roll for this fails. Okay, no. Uh, anything that she had on her was either on her person or left back at the dig site. Okay. All right, come on, let's... Let's hurry. We 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 got to go, and I'll I'll get my flashlights and uh, try and lead the way using the compass. Get us along the road. I mean, hopefully we can just follow the road itself. This close to town, it might be recognizable. Um, and I'm kind of going hurry, hurry. We got to uh, get to Cops Corners fast. You head out. You head to to block, and you both get out, and you're beginning to head. When you look back, and Harry hasn't moved. He's still sitting, holding the wheel, looking out over it, unmoving. <sighs> I, I, when you come back, I look it, towards, you can like hear him muttering under his breath. I, I look towards Block um, helplessly, and I, I kind of come back and, 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 and I'll say, hey, we, 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 we got to go. Come on, we've got to move. You, you have to get up. You have to come with me. What the hell happened? What what was that? I mean, she's still back there, right? We, we, we don't know if, if anything happened. We, we need to go back, right? We can't it, just it's... leave her up here in this storm. She'll freeze or die or... I... What the hell is happening? I kind of look towards, towards, towards Block. Does he look like he's going to be any help in this situation? Can he see that uh, Harry is kind of catatonic and he's uh, not going to be doing anything? Block's looking out into the rain, trying to find the way down. Uh, he could probably grab Harry and, like, just bundle him out, but he's going to be a lot less subtle about it. Um, All right. In which that case, said, they I'm... are friends. Like, you could kind of go, like, get your guy into line. Yeah. In which case... I'm going to take a few deep breaths, look around, make sure that my book bag is really <laughs> across the very serious wound that I have, and and I, I'm going to lean in and I'm going to say, Harry, this is this is this is a trick, you know? It, it's got to be. That stuff doesn't happen. This is this is this is a, a prank or some kind of some kind of. So we, we we've misunderstood. It's okay. You, Clarissa's fine. What you think? Think trees just pulled her out. You're, you're, you're that, that, that's fine. She, she probably just climbed out. She's fine. Lane said we just got to get back into town. Everything's okay. You're okay. Nothing bad is happening. Um, I'm trying to sell a fast talk here. I, to I, find, everything's fine. Give me a fast talk test. It's going to be hard. Yep. That is a success, and I will give you three points of luck to make okay. it a hard success. He seems to be willing to suspend belief and traipse along. He gets out. He doesn't have a poncho or anything. There's no jacket. He's just standing there in, like, his white shirt. And as he gets out of the rain, his red hair is just flattened to his face. And he just stares out into the distance. Blaine, uh, sorry, Block elbows him. And he sort of, like, steps forward, sliding a little bit in the mud. And he's just kind of vacant throughout the whole thing. Uh, as Block heads to the front and begins to find the way, he looks back and sees you, like, 
you kind of did a good job of, like, hiding your injury a little bit. Like, you pulled the book bag against it, but you're white, you know, in, in the rain, and you're, you're struggling a little bit. Do you just, like, push forward? I've got the torch, and I shine it in his face so he can't see how bad I am. Okay. All right. He sees back and goes, all right, Katie, let's, let's, let's get down there. Um, let's go. I think it's this way. And you begin to, like, walk through the way, uh, rain, finding your way back. Um, James, do you have any survival, navigation, any applicable skills? I, I, the, the only thing I could possibly sell is spot hidden to try and keep on the road, but I believe that'd probably be a track check. Yeah. So my best skill in that area is, um, uh, no, no, they're going to, they're all going to be based. Although I did succeed on a navigate check er, uh, earlier in the, um, the, uh, and a survival check earlier in the, uh, you do also have that compass that was given to you. Yes. Um, the safest option is just don't try anything. Follow the road. You will get there eventually. It's just going to take a while. Yeah. Because the I fast thing that... would be like cut down through trees and things. But if I... you just want to go the safe thing, no roll needed. No, no. I, I think we're just going to go the safe option. Um, the only thing I could think of is like geology. Do I know some trick about like, you know, moss always grows on the side of that? But I don't think that's applicable here. Let's applies. stick to the safe path and get the hell out of here. Okay. Uh, you begin to walk out, and through the storm, the three of you travel. You're wounded, Harry's pretty out of it, and even Block's fairly shaken. He's twisted his arm, and he's, you know, shaken by the loss, and you all sort of just walk silently through the rain, not really talking to one another, just thinking over what happened. I have one last thing to point out, uh, suggested to me by chat. I have all the maps that uh, Blaine had um, of the area, which could be potentially quite useful here. Uh, it's a good thought. Uh... I definitely give you a bonus dice on a roll. And I will say, with that, you are confident, like, this road will take you into town. Like, you're not lost. You're able to pinpoint where you are after a moment. Like, you guys all hunch down under a tree. You get the, the poncho out over it, and you shine the light under it. Um, you know I'll go you're with on that. the That's, That sounds great. So if we've got the maps, we've got the, yeah, the compass. Perfect. Follow okay. the road. All right. The three of you make your way down and eventually you begin to get back to the point where you think heads into Cobb's Corners. Um, all three of you are heading back into town at roughly similar times. Katie's probably a little bit behind as a lot of it is on, on foot. Um, but as you each come in, you can see that the town is uh, not quiet, but kind of still as the rain lashes and most people have retreated indoors. Each of you are going to cross a bridge to get into town, and you will see that it is very nearly flooded. When Fred gets towards it, you can actually begin to see, like, it's one of those um, wooden box bridges with a little roof over it. Uh, water has raised up to be just underneath it, and through the planks, occasionally, like, waves are lapping through it a little bit and, and towards the other side. Fred is pretty cautious about it, but he says it's, it's lasted this long, it'll last another day or so. Last hour ride, at least. Um, and you slowly move across it. It kind of creaks a little bit under it, but you get across to the other side and into town. Katie, when you... Uh, shortly after, when you block and Higgins cross uh, the same bridge, um, it's even worse. Like, it's now up to your ankles and things. And as you move across, you're, like, grabbing the side and making sure no one falls over into it. But eventually, all of you come back to Cobb's Corners. What are you doing? Actually, sorry. Uh, Fred will pull up in front of Kana's Goods and stop there. Um, he's going to head inside. Uh, actually, I think, Katie, you're probably a little bit behind. So, first of all, um, uh, Seb and Chaz, you arrive in town uh, with Fred and are dropped off in front of Kana's goods. He stops and he will help you to unload any of your equipment and then he's going to head inside to his wife. Uh, what are the two of you doing? Should the bus be back by now? Now-ish. Or now ish okay so actually if, if if it were all on time yes they should be back by now and you guys don't know that, that they were delayed yeah great so if uh, i could look at the map i'm just gonna ask you how far away is kana's goods from the the diner which is usually where like the bus drops us off quite close okay so i guess um we should probably head back to the diner, uh, meet up with everyone. They should be there by now. Uh, are you okay to continue to carry the phonograph? You're, you're uh, yeah. stronger than I am, so... Yeah, 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 it's all good. It's all good. Uh, I, I, I just hope we all get out of here in one piece, all right? It's a nasty storm, but we'll be okay. It's... I'm not worried about the storm, McCarthy. I'm worried about what's in the storm.
Hey, um, when we get back, I, um, I think we should have a, a talk with Blaine. And if he isn't willing to talk, well, I may need your other set of skills. I don't think he's gonna want to talk. I don't think we're gonna get a chance to talk. We've seen his planner. He's planning something tonight. And whatever he's got planned doesn't involve talking to us. I think as soon as I see him and I see him up to something fishy, it's gonna hit the dirt. Well, how about this? You try and talk to him, and if he doesn't want to talk, you knock him in the dirt, and I'll kick him when he's down. All right, all right. If you want to do the talking, I'll do the, uh, not talking. That's fine. Shaz, if we get the slightest whiff that he is up to something bad, and I mean bad bad, I just need you to hold him. All right. All right. I think we're, uh, I think we're buying milk from the same grocery store here. That's a very common Boston saying. Oh, uh, yeah. I've heard that. <laughs> for sure. Very for common sure. 1920s slash 30s. Oh, they yeah. say it all the time in the department. You gotta, you know? yeah, you gotta yeah, trust yeah. me on that. Don't even look it up. Yeah. Don't even Just, look it up. Uh, there is definitely, like, an ominous sense of, I have a very heavy silver-topped, uh, umbrella. Someone's gonna get it. <laughs> that may or may not, uh, have a conversation. A rather swift conversation with somebody's kneecaps. Okay. Outstanding. Uh, Sorry, Dave, did you say we saw the bus or, no, or not? No, no sign of the bus. So, uh, not yet at least. What about, um, so we're short on Noakes, uh, Stoner Dude, Gibbons, <laughs> kind of, Gibbons and um, Clarissa, and Weasel. Oh, for, for Laszlo and, and Trent. Trent is also and Trent. Town. So there's are those four within like when we get to the diner are those four around at so, all yeah so as you as you leave uh Kana's goods you see um Christine come out and then uh they she like you know sees all of you and, and sees you beginning to head off before walking back inside with Fred the car parked uh nearby um I'll, I'll thank the Fred and the fact like uh, yeah we're not just be bye uh, later <laughs> yeah no of course. <clears throat> yeah. um that's all good and then you head over towards the diner um, as you get through the, the rain, um, they are not closed, but a few of the lights are off and there's only uh, one booth occupied. Um, you head inside, the, the bell rings, and um, you can see um, uh, Anne Haggerty is behind the counter doing like a, a crossword or something and looking out at the rain. And seated at one of the booths is Louis Gibbons. Um, he looks up at the as the two of you come in and he like, raises a, a half-finished milkshake to you in a sort of a salute, uh, and then goes back to, to drinking it. There's no one else yeah. inside. Gibbons, have you seen the others? Hey. The other, like, you know. Uh, um, no, no. Mouse and farmer and weasel. No, no one's really been moving around too much in the, in the storm and all. I guess if they're interviewing, they're still, you know, moseying. I... Uh, you haven't seen the bus, have you? It should be back by now. Uh, he looks out into the rain as if it might just appear there, and he goes, "Damn it! No, 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 no bus yet." I, I ha told Hollow. I told Hollow to get him. No matter what Blaine was up to, I told Hollow. Have you seen Hollow? You seen Blaine? No, no. Uh, Blaine. Yeah, I mean, I, I they were, they were. I saw the truck go past a bit ago. Sure, and I saw, uh. Laszlo, uh, he hit over to Carner's a bit back. That was a while ago, though. All right. Well. Hey, you guys, want some fries? Are you hungry? Oh no, I, I got. I've had a few. He's like got like a half finished cold <laughs> plate, which he pushes over towards you. What have you done all day? Uh, interviewing. <laughs> You can't interview a milkshake. <laughs> he looks down at his notes. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will. I will uh, go over to to Anne um, and ask for coffee. 
Hey, Cause... yeah, yeah, sure. Um, she pours it. She sees you guys are so. She goes, "Hey, can I get you like a towel or something from from the back?" Yeah, that'd be that'd be amazing. Thank you. Okay. Um... I'll just be back. Uh, she like nips back and comes out with a couple of towels, which she gives to you. Um, there's no like fire or anything in here, and the, the there's no like heating or anything either. But it's dry at least, and you can like in the back, um, and then warm up with some coffee. Um, it's probably at this point that you see coming down the like into town a couple of silhouettes in the road, and then like uh, leaning in under um, uh, one of the lights on an external porch, you see uh, Katie. Who like takes a moment to like lean against a, a porch and push herself back up. Uh, shortly behind her is Block and Higgins. Very mother of Dedrick, come on. Um, the others are here and they do not have a bus. And I will beeline out into the rain uh, again, <laughs> leaving everything behind. Yeah. Uh, and will. Yeah, go up to the group of three people and be like, uh, where is, ha, where is the bus? Where, cool. where is, as, what is going on? Miss Wilkes, are you all right? As soon as I see everybody arriving, I'm, I kind of stand straight, straight up and I'm going to start blurting out, uh, Blaine didn't come, Blaine didn't come, but, but, but something else did. And, and, and the, it, it, the trees, the same one that the boy was drawing. I think they got Clarissa. They took her out of the bus. Uh, they, they got they, Clarissa? Higgins they, is they, just they, muttering and, like, God. not saying anything. And But Block's agreeing with everything Katie says. The, the, I think she, she, she's dead or close to it. I think, I think, I think, and I'll kind of pull my bag away. And I think it's, I'm out of the rain a bit. So finally I'm starting to bleed. Oh, I Jesus, think, I think Katie. I, gonna die oh too and okay um, um we are gonna get you uh somewhere dry and somewhere safe block can you uh can you help me with miss wilkes um there's nowhere safe Louis everywhere like... in this town they're everywhere <laughs> <laughs> louis holding the diner door open and uh block gets underneath katie on the other side and all of you are like quickly rushed into the diner where you get a seat as soon as Anne sees the state that Katie's in, she goes, Oh my god, um, I'll run and get Dr. Perry. Just just stay there, sweetheart. Just stay there. Uh, uh, Hank? Um, and her husband comes around the corner um, from, like, back at the grill. Uh, and he comes forward and she goes, just, just keep an eye on them. I'll be right back. She gets, like, a small scarf, wraps around and darts off into the rain. Unless you want to stop her. If I may, I, I as soon as I come in, I'm kind of inconsolably blabbering the plot. I'm saying, you know, the, the, the murders, this 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 town, they're, 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 they're in on something, and when the sheriff burnt down the house, Ms. Wilkes, completely... <laughs> I'm going to attempt to, like, get you to focus on me uh, and try and stop you talking uh, as, like, hey, Miss Wilkes, this is neither the time nor the place. Uh, you are hysterical. I need you to calm down because we cannot treat you if you are in a state. I'm not crazy. There was someone in the woods. Miss Wilkes, Miss Wilkes, focus on me. All right, and I'm gonna attempt some. I'm gonna attempt some first aid. Okay. This may or may not go very poorly. I don't have great first aid, but I have some. Um, and we've okay. lost Carissa. <laughs> yeah. So Anne vanishes, heading towards the doctors. Um, you all, like, sit, slide into a booth, and, and Katie, like, reveals that, like, still in her, like, the large splinter of wood. Ooh, um, yeah. Harry's muttering and pretty much out of it, and Gibbons tries to, like, lean across and talk to him a little bit, but doesn't get much from him. Um, do, are any of you trained in first aid? I uh, have, so I, I think base is 30, I have 35, so I Base have... is 25. Oh, in that case, yes. <laughs> I got 30 as well. I got 30 as well, I think. Base I think base may, may, is may base is 30, then I stand. I have, like, I have a smidge. I have 30. Okay. So technically uh, I am trained. I think the others are helping you, but uh, I think it's going to be just you rolling, really. Everyone's kind of in a, in a little bit of a state. Okay. Uh, is helping bonus die or just, just like... Just, just roll straight, just roll straight. All right. Let's hope I don't fumble. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to mention this at this... <gasps> oh, God damn. Why did you say that? Why did you say that? Okay. Uh, That's incredible. Can you, you, I? Oh, you, you can't. You can't luck out of a fumble. That's no, a good. 
Um, so, if I may as well, uh, Dave, I'm not I'm I'm not a hundred percent on this rule because I, I I when I tend to have situations where someone gets a major wound, things deteriorate really quickly. Mm-hmm. I may have to make con checks on the hour every hour until I think I'm it's stabilized. only if you I think it's only if you take damage and your current issue is when you go down, you are dying rather than just knocked out. Right. Um. So, uh. Chaz, what are you doing? Um, I was actually just looking at the map. The sheriff's office is all the way on the other side of town. I have... Uh, so, the map has Kana's... Uh, sorry, the, the Jim's Grill Jim's is where grill. you are. Yeah, It's a little further up than where it is marked on the map, just because I've frequently said that the four are kind of quite close together, and I only realized the other day when I rechecked the map that I was wrong. <laughs> Oh, no. So it's a little closer. We're adjusting that map, but it's a little okay. further up. But as you said, the sheriff's is what, when you came up uh, to Karna's, you would have been right next to it. Mm. Whereas Anne has gone to the doctor. Is it number nine? At number nine. So just and that's kind of a little strip. bit in the opposite direction. Um, yeah, I think it's worth checking in to see if the sheriff is back. And I'm, a, I'm happy to sprint over there. Okay, no by yourself. Me. Yeah. Okay. All right. You head out into the rain Split and, and, the and, and rush off. I'll call out where I'm going, but then okay. I'll, All right. I'll bounce. Um, you sprint off. Louis and Harry are talking. Uh, Block's kind of trying to help you, Seb, but it's nothing too serious. Um, as you've got Katie like on the, the table, she like leans back and you can see this large splinter in it. Um, and the idea will be to, you know, dot healing, so let's get that puppy out. Um, you get the side of it and uh, Block like passes you something like bite down on Katie and then it's like it seems to be coming out pretty easily and then when you give it the last tug it catches on the inside something gets Ugh. under the skin and as you wrench it there's a gush of blood oh, and Katie no. flinches. Katie, you take a d4 of damage <gasps> and I'm going to need a con roll. Fuck. That is <laughs> Max. Oh, I don't know. Why? <laughs> Are, what's your health, Max? How, uh, I have voice? two. I have two health remaining. I'm sorry. <laughs> Make a Constitution roll. A hard success. Katie, like, actually, I, I, James, I leave it in your hands. Um. Uh, I, I think I think I actually kind of don't make any noise. I'm so like restrict, like tense at this minute, restricted and kind of going church mouth mouse quiet. But as um, uh, I start to bleed, bleed out, I just go, oh, oh, that's not ideal. It's like gushing. Like your the front of your shirt is now red. The splinter is lying on the table, and um, you beginning to feel faint headed. Like you you flinch back and forth, and you're beginning to see spots in the side of your vision. You feel very very unwell. Block like scoots out and and, and looks back and goes, I- I'm I'm gonna go get Han and and make sure this hurries up. And then he bursts out the door and goes rushing towards the doctor, sprinting through the streets. I, I need to speak to a doctor. Uh, and also I've been sleepwalking. Uh, I think at this point, Seb's just like, <coughs> okay, Miss Wilkes, Miss Wilkes, Miss Wilkes, well, can you- gonna have a field day. Can you tell me about, um, the, the, the geology team? What have you been looking for? Uh, yeah, this, this, the, uh, and I'll kind of shake her handily pull out, uh, the, one of the minerals, which now has a, a cinematic little smear of blood across the bottle, uh, as I hold it out and go, there, there Looking this, it's it's not, it's not okay. Um, it's a new put, mineral, something. Put that in your bag for safekeeping. I want you to tell me about its properties. Can Everything. You, can you it's do that? not. It's strange metal. It doesn't. It doesn't exist. It, all of the tests, and I start like kind of flicking the papers out, and and and. I essentially what I'm trying to do here is to get Katie to like just talk at me so she doesn't lose consciousness, and I will continue to prompt you for like. Honestly, I don't give a shit. I, I definitely am like, huh? That's weird metal that doesn't exist whatever tell me about the properties of the other metals you found tell me about like any yep. of the artifacts and it's just continual stream of like just tell me bullshit um Fair as enough. as you're doing that harry like seated across has like been given the plate of cold fries by uh louis and he's just like holding two of them and, and kind of like squeezing the potato between his his thumb and four fingers and he's going they they, they got clarissa i mean something in those woods got her i i i saw it we walked through the rain they attacked us. We were left by Blaine, and then they fucking attacked us. And they ripped her out, and we had to drive back. He looks up at you, Seb, as like the only one kind of like cognizant moment. He goes, What the hell's happening? 
I think I think Blaine got Harlow too. The 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 truck the, the truck it stopped when it didn't need to. What do you mean the truck? What what I, I'm gonna look at Higgins. What happened to the truck? I, I don't know. It wasn't there. We we never found it. Louis were tracks. Louis from the other side will go. The truck the truck came back. We saw it drive past. I just figured it was Harlow and Blaine. I don't oh, think oh, Harlow was. What happened in to the bus? I I crashed it. We had to drive down in the rain. We were running from. Whatever the hell was happening, I crashed it. It's 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 halfway up the mountain. Well, not halfway, mo a little way up the mountain. In pieces. Oh, okay. It was. So they just didn't come back, and you, you got in the bus and. And it... something attacked us. Fog rolled in, and then there were things moving in it, lights and things, and and Block and Katie went out to look at, look at it, and they grabbed Block, and it get Katie. Katie got him, and I got the, the bus started, and then and he, like, looks back as if, like, revisiting the whole scene, and he's, like, looking out the window, and he goes, and then they got, they got Clarissa, and then, and then, and then we ran, drove. Oh, hell, we're all gonna die here. Oh, we're all gonna die in this fucking Higgins. town. Higgins, look at me. You're not gonna die. Find, can you ask for a phone? Yeah, yeah, uh, Hank, uh, from the back, kind of like, he's giving you privacy, but he's keeping an eye on things. He mm. sees Katie and things, he go, he, Hank goes, there's no phone here. There's one at Coroner's, though. That's the closest. Wait, wait, and, and I'll kind of lean into, um, uh, Seb and to Chaz. I think I'm kind of like- Chaz is not here, Chaz, but you Chaz's. can certainly sorry, hallucinate sorry, Chaz, the Chaz's- yeah, no, That's right, sorry. Louis I'll and Harry are here. Towards you, so say, like, we know, we know there. We can't trust anyone here. We, we, we need to find the... somebody who isn't who isn't in on it, and, and we need to get out of this town. We, I think, I think we can trust the Carners. Fred got Frank. Frank, Fred. Car uh, Fred, Fred Carner. Yeah, Fred. Brilliant. I believe Hank Haggerty. Great. Uh, my brain just gone. Who's Haggerty? It's Jim. Never it's mind. Jim. It's Jim Haggerty. I goofed it. <laughs> Amazing. Um, great. Uh, Fred Carner got Chaz and I back safe, and he seemed genuinely concerned about us. I, I think, I think they're all right. I think the the Reverend had some interesting things to say about the town. I, th I think he might be all right, and as loath as I am to say it, I actually think the sheriff might be on our side. I don't think we can stay in this town. I, I, I think don't we... think we should go back to the farmhouse either. No, I think we should. We should try. We should try and get out. We should. Yes. The, the bridge was flooding. I don't know if we'll be able to drive across it now. We might be stuck here. Regardless, I think someone should call the professor. If we can get a phone. But what, what, what's he going to do? How's he going to help? It doesn't matter whether he can help. The important thing is that he knows. The important okay. thing is that someone back at Miskatonic University knows. And believe you me... It, Seb almost says if, and then goes, When we get back, I will be seeing if my Uncle Oswald is still on the uh, school board. Because, uh... Heads okay. are absolutely gonna start rolling. All right. Um, this is ridiculous. Whoever signed off on the ethics of this is. Oh. Yeah. And like, I think Seb just goes on this like kind of like mental tangent of just real fucking angry at like <laughs> school administration because that's the only way he's just gonna stay not. Oh yeah. What do you do when you've been stabbed and there's no hospital? Because I always they always said go to a hospital. What am I meant to do now? We're getting a doctor. That's the next best thing. And right. uh, Miss Wilkes, I would like you to recite the periodic table for me now, if you don't mind. Um, James. <laughs> Hi, Moon. Uh, ow. Uh, helium. Now, remember, only, ow. only use elements that were discovered in 1930. <laughs> I think that's pretty much I all of them with the exception of the new like, element so we discovered. <laughs> K2 put that one. Put this that one. one Put that one down in the, you know, the extra, like, the extra two lines down the bottom where, like, yeah. the weird shit goes. <laughs> Wilkinium? Go Are you calling it now? <laughs> oh, definitely unobtainium. Come on. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright. Okay. 
Um, uh, Chaz, you're yeah. rushing through the rain and heading towards uh, the sheriff. Uh, you will go past Wendell's place, which is still like the door is, it was reclosed, but the lights are all off inside. Uh, you'll go past Kana's goods, where the lights are off on the ground floor, but the second level where they have their house, they're on, so they're, they're inside there. And as you get to the, uh, the sheriff station, you can see the sheriff's truck is parked nearby again. Right. He made it back. Um, did uh, did uh, uh, McCarthy make mention of the fact it was Wendell's car at some point? Uh, yes, I would have told that. Like, I would have waited until we were out of earshot of um, yeah, Fred, right. but I would have let you know that, like, as I suspected, that that looks like it was Wendell's car. All right. So with that information, I will bang on the sheriff's door. You like head up and, and slam on the door. Um, and the, uh, the assistant opens it, um, and she's, like, a, a slightly older woman with, um, a pair of glasses, and she's holding in her hand, like, a, a file of reports and things. Um, uh, inside, you can hear the sheriff, uh, like, making coffee, and you hear him, like, harumphing and spittooning and things. Uh, there's no, uh, immediate sign of the deputy. As the I woman opens the door, she goes, uh, how can I help you? Uh, if the door's open, I'm inside. Okay, so you, like, open it. She, like, goes, how can I have it? And you kind of do push past Football a little bit. charge. The sheriff looks around, and as soon as he sees you, the eyebrows lower another two notches, and they were pretty <laughs> low to begin with. In the oh, back, oh. you can see they have uh, a set of doors that lead to, um, like, temporary holding cells. It's mainly just for, like, the town drunken things. Uh, but the door is currently slightly ajar, and you can see a light on inside. The sheriff fixes you with a stare and waits for you to speak. Sheriff, things go up from bad to worse, all right? All right, here's the, here's the lowdown. All right, Katie's injured. She's in the diner. I think they're getting the, car, the, the, the doctor to her, um, but she, she's got a big uh, tree branch in her side. Not fun. Anyway, also, I don't know if you saw, I don't know if you found Wendell. We did, we found his car. He's crashed out in the darkness. Seems like he picked up and ran, so don't worry about him. He's, uh, he's probably lost in the storm or whatever. Uh, thirdly, Clarissa's gone. Said uh, they were up in, up there in the uh, geology dig, and something came out of the trees, attacked the bus, and dragged her away. So she's gone. We're gonna have to get a search party going out, but uh, but not before we secure the perimeter or whatever, because whatever's out here stalking us is probably gonna get to town before long. I think we gotta haul up in the diner or something or the church, and we gotta do it real fast. See? Sheriff takes two steps towards you, um, and he's got his pistol holstered on one side and a set of handcuffs on the others. He steps forward takes like a wide stance oh, and no. unclicks the holster, the like strap that goes over the gun and then stares at you. From behind, you hear the door open again and someone else has stepped in um, behind you, but out of, out of sight. He looks at you and he says, Jimmy died. Now I hear you're in yet more trouble. I've spoken with Wendell. I know what you're associated with. This here is a formal arrest. Step forward, put your hands in front of you. No, no, come on. I, I don't know. I don't know what Wendell's told you. I don't Step know what you're for. Step forward, kid. You gotta tell me what I'm being arrested for. Murder. Step forward. I ain't gonna ask again. If there's a window nearby, I would like to exuant through it. As you, so you look to the side and you can see a window. He tracks your eye line, and then from behind you hear, "Don't do anything stupid, Chaz." And the deputy uh, is right behind you, and he goes, "Look, I, I've, I've spoken with Blaine, Sheriff. There is there's more to this. I suspect you, you, you can't arrest this kid. All right." Let him go with his friends. They're not leaving this town tonight. They're 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 working. All right. They're just let him let him have the night. All right. They try to go somewhere. Once we once we investigate the farmhouse, we can we can pull this further. Sheriff just shakes his head. That son of a bitch was an idiot. He's my brother-in-law, and you killed him. He and was gonna, gonna get kill in those us. Goddamn. He was gonna kill the girls in the farmhouse. You can see like a vein bulging on the side of his neck. 
Do you try and run, or do you want to try and make a persuade? The deputy's behind you. Persuade 15, jump 20. If, I mean... you, if you jump, I'll just be clear. This is you, like, s s sprinting. You're, you're, it's going to go to dex, and then just yep. see if you can get out the window before you get shot. Is Chaz stupid enough to do this? Is, is There's a level where it gets his Jackson stupid enough to do this. You can try it. This is... This is... All right. You can try and, and run. I, if you can make it out in the streets, you might be able to lose them. But this is... I, I, I let the dice decide. Chaz is not stupid enough okay. to run. Um, but he's not that persuasive. Um, is it worth intimidating this uh, grizzled old sheriff? I, what would you, what's your, what's your line? I, Apparently what you said is persuasive. You, know, you, uh, are, you are under the protection of the Miskatonic University and yeah. they have money. Yeah, yeah, see here's the thing, Sheriff. Uh, if I hadn't been there that night, then, you know, for all you know, y your good friend Jimmy over there might have might have shot up two U my Miskatonic University students. Or more. I mean, the, the, the university is already going to have a couple of problems with what happened here over the weekend. Could have been a lot worse. Maybe, so maybe you just want to back off and decide, you know, enough's enough. This thing got away from you. Too bad. His gun weren't loaded. And how are you we supposed to You acted unnecessarily. You slit his damn throat. I... That won't called for. And he walks forward. Slit his forward. throat. Slit his damn throat. He bled like a pig. That was violent. Son. I knocked him out. I beat him up. I got him unconscious. At this point, he grabs your shoulder, spins you around, and you're, like, jammed up against the, the door. Uh, you can make your intimidation roll. Uh, it is... You're gonna need, like... This is weird, though, right? I just want to clarify. He weird. didn't have a slit throat. No, you knocked him out. We handed him over into the custody of the sheriff. Deputy no, we didn't. Deputy. We handed him to the deputy. Deputy, sorry. Deputy, that's it. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. You are slammed up against it, and you can feel your one of your arms being wrenched behind as manacles slide across it, and then the other. Uh, unless there's anything further you try and do, you are dragged backwards, and you're going to be thrust into one of the cells. I didn't slip no throats, Sheriff. I knocked him out. Don't lie to me, kid. You're in enough trouble as it is. And then he throws you into one of the cells and shuts the door behind you. Once I'm in, do I get a meaningful look from the deputy? I, I want to catch the deputy's eyes. I want to I want to trade looks. Sheriff I goes want him in to like, know that I know. Sheriff goes and like throws you in. Uh, and then as he goes back out, the doors begin to slide and you can see the deputy looking through towards you again. He's not wearing a weapon or anything. Hat low on his head so you can just make out his eyes and he just tips it to you very slightly and then turns away. As the thing shuts, you are secured. You are still manacled. You're in a small cell with like a, a bed to the side, um, a window to the back. It's not like bars. It's got bars on it, but it has pain as well. And then there's the storm continuing to fall outside. Be honest, safest fucking place to be, probs. If there's things coming through windows. Although, deputy, mm -hmm. maybe not. I can say one more thing. Of course. All right, Sheriff, I'm stuck in here. But the other students need your help, all right? I'm gonna shut up for the rest of the night, but something's going on out there. He stops in the in in the um. He stops in the door, and you can see the deputy over his shoulder looking at you. He he hears you. With the failed intimidate, you you say it. I'll say it. That's all I'll say. Oh, that's a good look. Um, and uh, uh, he uh, heads out into the rain. Uh, we are very briefly going to go to the hold screen because my camera has died again. <laughs> we'll be right oh, no. All right, we're back. This damn camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so back in town. Um... Uh, so uh, Chaz is uh, locked up 
in the cell, uh, and the sheriff heads out. Uh, in town, uh, Block and Dr. Perry um, come sprinting through the rain. They've gotten a small stretcher, um, and they're rushing towards the diner, where as soon as the door opens, Perry looks over at Katie and sees how bad condition she's in, and goes, uh, get her on the stretcher, and let's get her back to the hospital, or the... Uh, surgery room as quickly as possible. You'll like carefully place her on it. Unless anyone objects, she'll be relocated. I, th I think I'm ex expressing visible fear at anyone coming near me from the town. I really don't trust any of them, so I'm kind of trying to like back away, but I'm not really in a state to do so. Uh, I I will accompany um, Katie to the doctors. Yep. Uh, the others, I may, like, make eye contact with Higgins and Gibbons to be like, you are welcome to come or go, like, stay or attend as you see fit, but, like, I won't tell them to do anything. Um. As, so you, you're, like, helping, so Block is helping Katie to get onto the stretcher, um, and he's probably going to be one of the people that carries it. Uh, Higgins is kind of losing it, and, and Louis looking up when uh, the door uh, swings open again, and uh, Jason Haggerty the young fella is standing there. He's, he's pretty drenched with rain. He's got like a jacket on, but no hood or anything. Um, he's looking around. He's pretty like, the, the, the situation in front of him is insane. I mean, Katie's bleeding out and the doctor's here and everything. And he's clutching in his hand a, a, a note. He pauses for a moment and just looks confused and then spots Louie and, 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 and heads over to him. And he goes, uh, hey, sir, uh, your, um, uh, your professor gave this to me to, to, to give to you. Louie looks at it, doesn't take or anything, just like pauses for like, a beat or two and goes there isn't a professor here and he goes uh, sorry you're whoever it is the the, the fellow that uh, paid for your bill the other night and he like pushes it forward and then eventually louis goes like that wasn't a professor blaine and the I'll, guy goes, i don't know and he's trying to like just give him the thing and then eventually I'll, louis i'll take it <laughs> add just as you and then you grab it out from under him um, Louis like looks towards it and looks to Harry. Goes, is there a professor with us? Uh, as you unfurl it and, and read, um, and it says, um, "Mr. Gibbons, meet me at and there's like a street address in 30 minutes to discuss last night's events. Um, you are being reviewed." Uh, and the uh. address is like the outskirts of town, up towards near where the road out is. I will pocket it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I will just say nothing important just information about tomorrow's work we'll deal with it tomorrow alright, okay uh, Louis sits back down um, and, a cr and uh, he and Harry are kind of talking Block gets one side, <coughs> I presume you and he will escort Katie yeah, I might actually look to the two of them and be like you two, um, Gibbons why don't you help Higgins over to the doctors as well, I think, uh the doctor could probably take a look at him. Sure, sure. Uh, he now. stands up. All right. Uh, he, he, he like just like puts an arm around Harry. Goes, come on, guy. Uh, and they'll walk behind you. Um, <laughs> as they get to the door, you're like lifting Katie with Block. Uh, you hear Louis whisper something to Harry, and Harry like kind of blankly looking out, finds his wallet, and just passes it over. And Louis will pay for his meal, and then you'll all head out in the rain. Perry is nervous. He's walking as you and Blocker are, are, have Katie on the stretcher. He's, like, leaning over and he's, like, checking a pulse and, and he's trying to, like, talk to you, Katie, and, and see how you are. But you're in pretty bad condition. Uh, he lays a jacket across you to keep some of the the, uh, the rain off you and you sprint across... Uh, to, uh, sorry, not sprint. You, like, you, you walk quickly across town to the office and it's not a hospital, but, like, first aid space and there is a surgical theater inside he fumbles for a key lets himself in and opens the door and the students all parade inside uh seb you have noted uh chaz has not come back yet and there's no sign of him moving through the streets um that said he only just left quickly it's not unreasonable he's still talking to people um inside um there is a light on leading down to the basement and the door slightly ajar uh that's where the morgue is uh but he takes everyone through he points to a small sitting room uh, where Higgins uh, and Louie go in, and then you and Block lay Katie down on a, like, surgical table, um, and he begins to, like, clean his hands and, and prep himself uh, to, to, to uh, work on her. Um, as he begins to work, you find yourself kind of just pacing, Seb. Katie, you're pretty uh, committed to being medicined. 
Who's here specifically now? Who stays in the room for the continued surgery? Block will leave. He goes back to check on his friends. And also he's going to start asking where everyone else is and what's going on. Um, and it's up to Seb. But otherwise it's going to be you and you and Perry. Unless Seb um, stays. Or unless you ask someone to stay. Yeah, I will. I Because I would I have noticed that Katie is not... Like, she's not trying to hide the fact that she is not happy about people. I'm kind of drifting in and out from, like, muttering. It, it, when, when I go past the morgue, I'm like, no, don't put me down there kind of stuff. Like, I'm pretty pretty convinced that people are going to about to leap on me. Um, Dr. Perry, if you, if you don't have any objections, um, I would like to stay. Uh, certainly. Uh, sit over there and don't get in the way. Uh, my mother is a doctor. I know how to not get in the way. I also know what most of these things are called if you need one. Perfect. All right, so you're going to stay in the room? I will be close enough that, like, Katie can hopefully see me if she rolls her head and opens her eyes. Um, But otherwise, I will sit and watch surgery, which I have done before. Okay. Um, I was on a dog, but, you know, same thing. You know, as it it, it goes. Okay. Um, We will leave you there being operated upon. Actually, I will make a medicine roll. Can I, uh, so this is um, going to take about an hour. Can I say something to Block as he leaves the room? Of course. Uh, if Chaz isn't back in 10-15 minutes, find out where he is, please. Alright. I'd prefer to have us all together if possible. We probably shouldn't be walking around by ourselves too much. Oh, um... Gibbons, you can come with me. I'll... Before, like, before he heads out, I want to show him the letter and be like... To Gibbons or Block? To Block, not to Gibbons, because I feel like Block is clever enough to not give this to Gibbons either, I hope. But I'm going to show him the letter and be like, we may want to deal with this. We got a place he's going to be in 30 minutes. That we do. All right. He folds it up. Uh, Katie's going to be in surgery then, during that time. I will wait till Block returns with information about Chaz or not, uh, and if uh, and then just, like, I may have to leave Katie at that point, depending on what happens. We'll listen. Okay. So but essentially I've told him to find out where Chaz is if he hasn't returned, and then, like, meet back, because okay. we're gonna do all this Block's shit. not gonna make it back. We're all gonna be picked off one by one. This is it. You stay, uh, and uh, sorry, let me quickly make my medicine roll. Um, while the medicine roll is being made, if I may, Katie is properly terrified. Could I make a sleight of hand check to try and palm a scalpel? Oh, hell yes. Nice. Nope, I'm it's too far away. I can't I, make it work. And ow! But like, yeah, and you are kind of like, and Perry just goes, like, stay still or I'm going to have to, like, you know, knock you out. <laughs> Hold still, Ms. Wilkes. Uh, and he's beginning to work on it. Um, so, is a hard success for a medicine better in this case? No, it, it would just require it to hard if it goes over um, a day later. So that's right. Over the hour, uh, Katie, you can restore a D three. And now, judging by my rolls previously, I'll roll a three again, of course, because uh, that's uh, that's how how these things work. Okay, oh well, it is apparently. So there we go. Amazing. That's good. And lose the major wound, or is I that actually stay? think you hold. I think major wounds take a take an age to yeah, heal. Yeah, I think I think work. you've still got the major wound, but that has like temporary. Like you're okay. It's beginning to stitch it. You're being bandaged up, and you'll stay there for the time being. Block and Gibbons uh, head out into the rain towards Chaz. Uh, Chaz, um, yeah. inside uh, the cell, uh, you pause for a moment, and then you hear from another one. You can't see them, but one of the other doors, you hear, Mister uh, Mister Dedrick. Well, well, well. Guess you didn't get that far. Don't see you getting much further. Yeah, thanks to you. Look, I heard what you said to the sheriff, alright? He trusts that deputy like no one else. You're not gonna get through to him. I warned you, you should have run as well. We're in real trouble here. We're, we're at the whims. You understand? I understand. Understand all too well. Is the, uh, the deputy and the sheriff still here and still in the building, or can You've I? You've got the tell? door closed, so you can't really tell. Um, you think you might hear the? Do- Actually, make a do you, have a, do you have. you have a decent listen, don't you? Uh, I've got a little bit of listen. Give us a listen, roll. Mm. 
door opens and closes, you think you hear the sheriff leave. You then sheriff actually you leave. think you hear the sheriff and someone else leave. Um, yeah. You suspect it's the assistant. You yeah. actually think you're in this room with just the deputy at the moment. So, you hear footsteps uh, beginning to head towards the door to the cells. All right, follow my lead. Okay. Uh, the door opens. And the deputy is standing there. He walks with long, measured steps, and he has a key ring with the keys to the cells, and he's swinging it around his finger. He walks up towards your cell and stands in front of it. Chaz. Fuck you! <laughs> Puts his hands up, he goes, whoa. We're on the same team here, okay? No, we're not. You're framing for murder, you dickhead. I don't know what you're talking about, okay? I didn't stab no one and slit no one's throat. That hey. that man's throat was intact when you put him into your car. Hey, 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 I believe you, okay? I don't think you did anything either. I'm, I'm here to help, all right? What you need is proof, okay? You, I'm going to let you out now. You can go out there into the storm. You can find your friends. You can do what you need to do. You're no good in here. You know that, right? I'm gonna hand you this key. You reach through the, the bars and you let yourself out, okay? Now I know you got assumptions that you made about me and so many of the other fine people at Cobb's Corners. So I'm not gonna be here when you let yourself out. Unless you might get a little murderous. He puts the key on the ground and he kicks it and it slides under the bars and hits the back of the wall in there with you. I'll be seeing you, Chaz. And begins to walk away. I am thoroughly confused. Um, is this psychology role going to help me understand Go what his it. grand plan is here? I'd like to mention something, and I think it's something that we did in, in character, so I think it would be more fresh in our characters' minds. I don't feel too Please. bad reminding um, I would love uh, Jackson that. about it. Katie after the event, made sure she got a statement from every one of the students. So we do have proof as such as to exactly what happened there. Outstanding. In my bloodstained book bag. So, something interesting. With that success, all you know is he seems to have a reason to not want you in the cells and to want you out somewhere else. He's not letting Wendell out. He's just letting you out wants you outside because the students are the sacrifice for the trees that give us the delightful things from the ground. And then as he if left... If I sing it, it's less scary. He leaves. <laughs> He's left the building? Mm -hmm. Alright. Wendell? What happened? Did he give you the key? Yeah. Hey, let I me out too. Why. Key does not to open. Be honest, it's only, it only opens your cell. Oh, really? He only gave me one key? Yeah, he gave me the key to you, your cell only. That's unlikely. Why are that different keys with different cells? That's a fire hazard if I ever heard one. Um, there, there's a label on it. It says, in case of fire, this key is uh, Chaz's cell. It's a long... It's a long it's, key. It says Chaz's too. And it was yeah, it's real story. clear. Wow. <laughs> Impressive. Played by Jackson Hayden. Oh. Who's this kid? Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Why does he want me out? Hey, get out. Get out. Find more keys and, and let me out too. All right, all right. I'll get out and I'll try to find the key. Uh, you like reach through the I bars and I'm not there. click it, and your door swings open. In the other, when you go past, you see Wendell is pretty like he's got bruises across his face and looks like a couple of scrapes and things. Uh, he has been tended to. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Find a key. I'm a fi I find the key. Uh, you head out. Uh, give me a spot hidden roll, and as you're searching, the door opens. <sighs> oh, hey. Yeah. Uh, what do you as mean as I'm searching the door opens? What? The door opens and a uh, block and Gibbons not far behind no. him are standing in there. And <laughs> Gibbons goes like, oh, hey, jailbreak. <laughs> uh, and block comes in and goes, what the hell's happening here, Dedrick? At this half point, you've like opened the sheriff's thing and you found a second ring with, with oh. like all the keys on it. Thank goodness. All right, uh, boys, you're not going to believe this. The deputy framed me for slitting Jim's throat. You know, you all, you all saw him. You all saw me. I just knocked him out. 
Deputy slit his throat as soon as he got in the car. Now the sheriff thinks I killed him. So he arrested me. But here's the weird thing. Cutter, the deputy, he just let me out. Let me out and walked away without the sheriff knowing. So now uh, me and my uh, good buddy here, the good friend, good trusted friend who's in it to the end, Wendell, yeah, is going to help us figure out what's going on here. Uh, Block goes, I've seen weirder things today. It, uh, let's take what we can. Let's get you the hell out of here. We can deal with this tomorrow or when the professor gets here or whatever the hell comes next. We're dealing with this tonight. Whatever the whatever Cutter's planning, it's happening tonight, and he wants us out there to, when, when it's happening. All I can say is it's a trap, and we have to walk into it, but at least we know it's a trap. Why don't we do it armed, then? I reckon one of those keys opens the gun cabinet? Only one way to find out. Yeah, head over to it, it like, click it open. Uh, as Louie's standing in the thing and looking around, he goes, why would he want, why would he let you out? I don't know. I don't know. But he's expecting me to get out, so I'm going to get out. But, you know, I know that he wants me to get out, so that's that puts me one step ahead of him, I think. He, like, walks along, and he's looking out windows, and Gibbons just kind of taps the glass and, like, draws something a little on it. And he looks out and goes, Big storm, huh? And then you get the key open. As it slides open, uh, there are two shotguns inside. Uh, a case of rounds. Uh, there is also a keg of gunpowder. Outstanding. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, is yeah, there... yeah, yeah, wait, wait. I, I believe when we came into town, Dave, you told us of a certain Civil War yeah. era cannon I wasn't just that lying about. You to do anything with Am it? Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah, it's in the center Am of town. Am I wrong? It's in the center of town. <laughs> It's in the center of town. That's an excellent place for it to be. I, 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 I'm, all, I'm all for this. Jackson, we you stay the That's hell away such from a our bad track record. It's, it's raining. You can't fire it. Um, yes, when you Dells, can, and Dells. I will support this from a distance. A hundred percent. Look, you've already stabbed me again, and, and someone I did not stab you. I reverse, oh, like I, I. I Cannonballed on a surgery table. What's the, what's the like when when you're pulling an arrow out, you actually have to push it through because if you pull it out, it like Ew. serrated. The like... medical term is an oopsie, <laughs> a goof. All right, here's the plan. We take this shotgun. We take this other shotgun. We take this gunpowder. We camp out at the cannon in the middle of town. Anything that comes by that uh, doesn't have any business being in town. And by the way, that includes Cutter. That probably includes Blaine. We blast it to smithereens. Good plan. Good plan. I don't know. I, I guess if I guess it's something. I I don't think we can camp out there near the. It's in the middle of a field. This storm is gonna blow you away um wendell from the corner goes let me out come on dedrick you know we work well he together let him out. Let him well this is your chance to prove it you're not gonna scarp her i mean i'm gonna lay low sure you're gonna help us get out of this mess in one piece you're gonna do everything you can where the to hell do you think survive. you're going i just want to hear you say it swear it ah. on something important what do you want from me? I I I, I ain't much of a gunsman. I'm gonna I'm gonna to head back to my I place when you say it. I am I locking it. myself in my dock room. I don't want to be here at the behest of the deputy. You leave, it's just me and him, and he's gonna gut me. I my death is on your conscience, Dedrick. Just come on, let me out. I'll hide. I'll head out of town afterwards. You you will have no problems with me. I ain't no, a fighter. You're gonna run. You can stay in there. Come God, on, Dedrick. Boys. That deputy comes back, I'm dead. You know that. He let you out and he saw me. He's, he is getting rid of you so he can kill me. You stumbled into this. I've been investigating it for years. I got dirt on that guy. Then help us. I That's can't. what I'm asking, to let you out. What do you think I can do? Let me hide. Right. Let me. Fine. You're not going to help? That's fine. You stay in there, you get killed by the deputy. I get framed. I get all the evidence to light. He goes down, but you're still dead. That's God fine. Let's damn go, it, boys. Dead. You're not gonna let. You're not gonna kill me. I'm out. Blocks looking between. Blocks like pretty cut. He goes. Is he? Out. Is he serious? Is he gonna die in here? That's what he wants. That's what he wants. Come on, keep that gunpowder dry. Shit. He like looks between you, but 
you've kind of been leading these people a little bit. He shit, shrugs and he follows after you. He's got the gunpowder. You've got a couple of like, shotguns jammed under your thing and you all head out into, into hey, town. Hey, hey, no, Wendell, where's the rings? The where's what? the decoder? The decoder. It, the it, rings, was in my the it was in my duffel bag. The sheriff wasn't took it. wasn't in the it. car. The sheriff took it. It'll be in a... All right. He'll have a safe or something. Well, I got to find that first. Hold on, boys. All right. Uh, you've got the keys. It probably doesn't take you too long. You find, like, an evidence locker at the back. Unlock it. And when you open it, there's a uh, rows of, like, stuff. It's all pretty managed. Uh, uh, confiscated liquor. Uh, uh, yeah, things like that. Um, and uh, you find the duffel bag with the evidence Excellent. in it. And as you look it up, it's heavy. Take it out. Leave the duffel bag in. Okay. Oh, Put some uh, liquor bottles in there. Make it look heavier. That'll do. Uh, you grab this thing and then you, you head out after uh, Gibbons and Block. And where are you yeah. guys heading? Uh, Block. Actually, Block knows they're at the Perry's office, so he can tell you. All right. Let's uh, let's see if we can stash the gunpowder somewhere near the cannon in a way that we can stay warm, and then we know it's there. Stay it's dry, Redder. My nothing staying warm in this in this rain. We just just stay dry. Surely just, just carry it with us then. All right. All right. Let's just get everyone in one place. That's what we need right now. All right, let's go to the let's go to the docks then. You all head out. Um, you can see uh, a car driving up further ahead, and you presume it's the sheriff's vehicle, like doing doing around. There's no sign of the deputy, um, and you all rush through the rain to the uh, doctor's office. Um, inside, Katie's about 20 minutes through the surgery. You are at the point where you would be meeting with Blaine, or very soon after. Um, when you uh, reconvene. Katie's still on the table. Seb comes out to meet with the rest of you. Oh, thank God you've got guns. That's going to that's gonna help. Uh, actually, hang on. I imagine... So, if you're moving the guns in, the doctor's going to see them. Are you no, carrying them openly? I assume that they are coming into the sitting room. The doctor is in the surgery, and I have exited the surgery to meet them in the sitting room. So, like, Katie and the doctor are in a different room and not necessarily able to see us. In which case, if I catch a glimpse of them, I'll yell, Why don't you have guns? <laughs> We're all gonna die! Alright. Chaz. Yeah. What happened? Uh, got arrested, got out of it, escaped, but only because Cutter wanted me to. See, Cutter's framed me for killing Jim. Says he's got Jim got his throat slit, but here's the thing. His throat wasn't slit when he got in, got in Cutter's car. Cutter's the one who killed him, framed me, Sheriff arrested me, but then, here's the weird thing, Sheriff left, and Cutter let me out. It's what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to get out and be running around out here. But see, I know he wants me to do that, so I'm one step ahead of him. Right. Um, where is... Uh, where is Wendell? Was he in there? Yeah, he's, he's got arrested too. Uh, he wanted me to let him out, but uh, I don't think he earned it. Why not? He wasn't gonna help. He was just gonna run away again. We want him to run away. Why do we want him to run away? Because if he gets to Brattleboro and he lit, drops the story, then everyone fucking knows about this place. No, no, he, he wasn't gonna run away. He's gonna hide in the, under his bed. That's what I mean. His if car's he, crashed. He can't get out. I'm sure he can hotwire another. Uh. We want this story to get out. All right. And if we have time, we'll go back and release him. But right now, we need to figure out the longer-term plan did you, for stopping Blade right, and Cutter. Did you at least get his duffel back? Yeah. Well, no, I left the duffel bag there to make it seem like they still had it. But I got the got the Dakota thing. Okay. Did you get the papers? Literally I, all of the evidence about what's happening, like everything that he that ever was recorded. In his car. Was that not in the duffel some bag? Some of it. Some of it like came loose in in the car. The rest would have been in the duffel bag, probably. Oh well, it's safe. I'm not a thinker. I'm not a thinker. Block Kathy. I'm a doer, and that's what right. we need you, right you now. You did great, Chaz. You did great. We have, we know where Blaine's gonna be in approximately ten minutes. Now great. Let's go and shoot him down. Hey, Block's pretty uh, cut about leaving um, Wendell to possibly die. He goes, "Give me the, give me the keys. I'll let Wendell out. I'll, I'll grab all the things. I'll meet you up soon. Gibbons can come with me. We'll be alright." I. Do we can't be in every place at once. No, we need to stay together. Right, McCarthy? Then he's staying in there. I mean, if that if that deputy wants that evidence gone, he's gonna get it. Go. If you see the deputy, get the Shoot hell him. out of Dodge. Done. Are you are you leaving one of the guns with him? I I don't use guns, so. Um, uh, I have no firearm skill, but I want a gun, yeah. Are you giving one to, to block? 
So he and <sighs> Louis can carry one. What, have they got firearm skills? Oh, I will ask them. What are they? I mean, there's does anyone like, else shoot there's gonna one of these before? Us two and maybe Higgins, and then those two. Like we may as well have one uh, gun. He does. Arms. He does not have firearm skills. Neither of them do. They but they're wi they're willing to learn. All right, you can have one. All right, Gibbons, let's go. Uh, if like if the deputy they, comes they... down, if you see the deputy, shoot him. No, do not shoot him. Duh. Run, run back to us. I want you to hide. I do not want you to be seen. This is not something. This is this is not a punchy game. The deputy is someone we stay the hell away from. All right. All right. All right. We'll meet you back at the diner in. When Katie's done, so in 45 or so? Meet us here as soon as you are done. We are right. going to need backup for this. Right, so, because uh, we, we know where, like, Gibbons is meant to be meeting Blaine. Mm -hmm. So that, I, I would like to suggest that we all meet, like, they meet us back there so that we have two guns. Oh, oh so meet at the... Meet at the, the yeah, yeah, no, the whole, the whole idea is to take the whole fucking gang to that location so that we have overwhelming numbers for whatever the fuck is about to happen. Okay. Um, well, over num overwhelming numbers against a human, maybe. Block and, block and Gibbons uh, head out into the rain and with the gun like under the thing and they've, they've stashed the they've given the gun the gun powder to uh, Higgins Harry who's got it like under a coat and he's sitting in the, the waiting room still like pretty shaken uh, and the two head out into the rain back to uh, the sheriff's office um, at this point Katie your surgery is at a point where the uh, where Perry steps away for a while and you're it's kind of like now you stay here and rest for the remaining half hour ago. That said, he does leave. He has some work he needs to do and he heads downstairs into the morgue. So you can talk with the others or you can make a break for it if you wanted to. And additionally, um, given we're gonna do a slightly longer session this time, do we wanna take a break now and we'll come back in 10? Does that work for everyone? Five Works for me. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna take a short break here because given this is the final chapter, we might run a little bit longer than uh, we normally do. In fact, we definitely will. Um, uh, Gibbons and Block have rushed off to the sheriff's office. Sebastian, Chaz, Katie, and Harry, the only students with known whereabouts, are all inside Dr. Perry's office making a plan. They know where Blaine will be in the next 10 minutes or so. Can they do anything about it? We'll be back in 10. See you shortly. Yeah. And we're back. Thank you all for your patience. I've spoken with the players and I've got an express permission to go as long as we <coughs> need to go. So buckle in. Hold on to your shorts. <laughs> That's the one. Okay, uh, I'm going to hand it over to the three of you. You have a brief period to at least discuss, if not make a, if not flee uh, the doctor's offices. He has gone downstairs to the morgue and closed the door behind him. It isn't necessarily locked, you don't know. Um, and Harry Higgins is nearby sitting with a keg of gunpowder um, at his feet muttering and clearly very shaken. So how much gunpowder was it? It's like a small, I think it's called a hogshead, is that size barrel? Oh, there are there are several sizes of barrels. It's um, enough for a decent pew. Bang, yeah. His side hurts. Yeah, yeah, you got the ton, butt, punch and hogshead, tears barrel, rundlet, kilderkin, firkin, and pin. You made up after those. The English, English wine cask sizes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> There's an excellent Irish drinking song that, that goes through all of them. Uh, anyway. <laughs> and here for a rendition. <laughs> is Higgins. No. <laughs> nice try there. I think I keep looking towards the mall door. Should we, should we lock him in? Um, Miss Miss doctor? Wilkes. Katie, um, you know how I told you there was someone who told me about the, the accidents? Yeah. This is the doctor. I think we can trust him. Oh, okay, good. But you need to not tell anyone about that. Um, all right. We know where. Well, we know where Blaine wants one of us to be. That doesn't necessarily mean Blaine is there himself, but it might mean he is. D did I hear you say you got arrested, Chaz? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, things got weird. I got arrested by the sheriff, but then the deputy cut to let me out. But Cutter was the one who framed me for murdering, uh, you know, the drunk. So things got weird. Are you doing all right? How are you doing, Katie? I think I think I'm a lot better. I he, he gave me some. I'm I'm fine. Listen, we gotta. 
I don't know if we can make it out of the town in this kind of storm. Even if we, if we can somehow get a car, I think it's going to be a tall order. I, no, no, we're not making it out. We're going to take the justice to Blaine and to Cutter. We're going to make sure that whatever nonsense they're planning doesn't happen. Murdering people? You, you, you reckon? I, I don't know. I think that, look, whatever they're doing, they've got they've got whatever took Clarissa on their side, and we, we can't go up against that. It, firing blindly into the dark, into the... Look, we... Well, I, for one, ain't giving up. I think. Chaz, give me a look at that Dakota. What do you think, Katie? I'm going to take a look at it while they're talking. The big I metal think... thingy? Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. I, think I speak we... three languages. <laughs> Not bad. Come back to them. I think we should... I think we should go to... Back... I think we should go back to the jail. I think we should... Wait in there. We've got some evidence. I, I took statements. We can prove somewhat that we didn't do it. And if the sheriff really wants to hold us, lock us in, well, sure, we'll just ask him to stand guard. Well, I mean, the sheriff isn't exactly an inquiring mind, as far as I can tell. He's, uh, he's got his ideas about what's going on, what's already happened, and I don't think it's going to be that easy to change him. Well, then, I then let's hide. Let's find somewhere and let's hide. Maybe, maybe in the church. Maybe Wendell's uh, place. Uh, we, 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 we. They can't find us if we're not. You know, we. Uh, Blaine, I don't, I don't. Blaine. Blaine killed Clarissa. What? How do you figure? Blaine's the reason we're here. Blaine's mixed up in all this. Clarissa got yanked out of the back of a truck. As far as I'm concerned, it's Blaine's fault. Okay, it might be his fault, but hey, you know, she might not be dead. She might still be out there. That's just one of the things we gotta deal with tonight. We can... I think we need to talk to Blaine. Oh, we'll talk to him, alright. As we discussed. If we, if we, if we go out there, it's deadly. We, 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 don't, we don't know. We, 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 we might be able to... Listen, if we survive the night, then we can figure this out. We have some proof. We have some information. And whatever this is, this, remember, this goes, this goes deep. It, it, it's big. We've got, we've got this thing. We've got why, why, why were the oil and gas company interested in this? Did they know it was here? What about the, the other students? We, we have other pieces of information, things that we can put together if we can make it out. If we go out now, if we try to confront people, I mean, there's more of them than there are of us. They, they're better with guns. They know the land. This is the, this, this seems deadly. It doesn't seem like a fight we can take. All right, well, the alternative is, I think we hole up in the church. I think that's a great idea. I think we have, what we're, where we're better off here is that we have more proof, I guess. You, you know, you both, are, you both have resources and, and we have statements and, and they don't want this to go into a protracted legal battle. You know, they, small town probably don't have the wherewithal to keep it and once a little bit of pressure starts getting put on their community i think they'd rather just let things go plus if we have time then they have to stay here we we can go anywhere we can come back we can all, the right, church. all right how about this we go and get block and gibbons from the sheriffs we head to the church on the way we go and find that jason kid and give him a note from gibbons saying hey blaine I'll meet you at the church. Best of both worlds. I don't hate that. Then he comes to us. Okay, I, I, I guess that, that makes I sense. I don't hate that. I, I, I like it. I like it. Puts us inside somewhere that we think is quite possibly safe. The Reverend Easy may or may not help us. I'm not sure, but I, I think I could possibly get through to him. Um, maybe. There are some people in this town who don't like what's going on. We're not alone here. The doctor, while he doesn't want to speak out publicly, is on our side. I think the, the school marm may or may not be concerned. The reverend certainly is. The grocery guy seemed pretty spooked. Yeah, I, I think there are people here that maybe aren't as much in on what's going on as some others, but the deputy definitely is not trustworthy. The sheriff I'm not sure about. Did you say something about Jimmy being his 
brother-in-law? Yeah. Well, that would make Anne his sister, which means that this is personal. Uh, sure. Which may or may not be why he's difficult to sway. All right, let's get everyone to the church. Well, let's go and find the other two at the sheriff's. Let's get everyone to the church. Wait, one last thing. Maybe, Seb, could you, could you convince the doctor if you, you two know each other? Maybe it's better if the doctor says says I died, says that I didn't make it. That oh. way, that way if things go bad. I can hide in a corner and then I can try and get out the next the next day. I like it. I All like right, it. Give me a, give me a moment, and I will head down to the morgue and I'll knock on the door. Okay. Hey, uh, Seb, you need the backup. You need some. Uh, you need a tough guy. Just, just say the word. This is either going to work or it isn't. And if it doesn't, we can. It's. It, there's nothing we can do about it. All right. Uh, the two of you get Higgins together, and if you need to spook him, yeah, Clarissa is in trouble, and it's Blaine's fault. Turn any of that fire inside him towards Blaine. It's the quickest way to get people to act. Give him an enemy. Roger, Dodger. Okay. Can you tell Seb's family is somewhat related to politics? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they they go all the way to the top. All the way to the top. This. Um. Okay. Uh. Katie is like sort of like lying on the on the table and pretty badly wounded. You got bandaged up, and if you do anything strenuous, I'm gonna take that. D3, <laughs> basically, because you'd have to do the full hour, and you're about halfway through. Um, but the surgery is done, now it's rest period. Uh, Chaz heads in and sort of tries to get Harry together. As Seb, you go over to the morgue door and knock on it. A quick attempt, it is locked, uh, but as you knock on it, you can hear steps coming up. Um, and after a moment, it uh, opens a little bit, and you can see Dr. Perry on inside. Again, he's an, he's an older fellow with wireframe glasses, um, white hair, and he's currently wearing uh, like uh, gloves and a, a smock. It is a little bit bloodstained. Uh, that was from the operation on Katie. Um, as he opens the door, he keeps it. It's not like a crack, but it's only half open. He's got a. Mm. He, you know, you can't get in easily. He goes, uh, yes. Doctor Perry, thank you so much for your assistance with um, my friend. Not an issue. You told me before about your suspicions, shh, shh, or shh, shh, shh. please Privately understand only. Please understand that everyone upstairs saw something they cannot explain. Yes, and if things get... If something gets its eyes on me, then I'm in trouble as well. I, I don't want any... In, I don't, well. don't make me regret helping a friend. Oh, no. Please, I, I, I don't want anything to do with this. I, I, I just want to... I, you weren't supposed to be here as it is. It, it's, it's, well, <laughs> then let's make it official, if you don't mind. Could you please note down that uh, Miss Katie Wilkes died today on the table at, and I'll give him the time. Why, 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 why would I say that? They'll, they'll, they'll find her tomorrow. Do you expect her to die tonight? No, but I, I hope very much that if uh, something bad should happen, no one is looking for her if she needs to run. No, no one's going to, to, to talk to me tonight. I, 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 I uh, <laughs> Listen, I'll... How about I just say no, you were never here. No one saw you come. No one saw you go. Uh, you weren't here. Take her. She, right. she needs to rest. Nothing strenuous, we will make, but... We'll make sure she rests. Yes. Good. Good. You shouldn't have been here anyway. This is... Anne. Uh, they won't. Damn it. It's town. Um. It's Jimmy, isn't it? There's another one. Down here. Yes. Yes, and I've been given express uh, terms not to let any of the students near him, not while not while the investigation's still underway. So you'll forgive me if I keep this door closed. Of course, I have no interest in seeing a dead man. Um, at least, not one like that. Um, you are aware that uh, when he was handed into the custody of the deputy, he was unconscious. I don't, I, I'm just going to give them my report and let this, let this lie. This, I, I don't need, don't need any more stress. I, please just take her. She could, she can be moved. 
Take her back to the farmhouse. Rest. Let all of this wash over. In the morning, when the storm breaks, it'll be it'll be easier, I'm sure. And then, uh, then, and we were never here. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, he closes the door again, and you get the sense he's probably waiting on the other side until people leave. Very good. I'll go back upstairs uh, and look at the two of them. We were never here. Shall we? Higgins. Yeah. You up for uh, clocking the idiot that got Clarissa killed? Can't we just can't we just go back to the farmhouse and maybe she'll I mean she only fell out maybe she'll just walk back. No. Nah. Where's everyone else? Where's Noakes? We were gonna head to the church. Uh, and we're gonna hold up there because. Getting back to the farmhouse without the bus is a walk, so I think it's probably safe for us to stay in town tonight, and I think the church is big enough to hold us all. How about that? Where, where, where is everyone? I mean, you two are in town. Today you were we, on the interview team. Where are they? We went uh, with Carner's grocery delivery up to see Agnes Bellwether, so we were not in town today. I'm not entirely sure, but I hope that we find them on the way. We're we only going to get out of this together. Right. We're in this together. I, I, I just want to... I just want dinner and I want to go to bed. I don't want to fight of, anyone. I don't... Think of your family. Think of... Think of... You know, you you come from tougher stock than this. What, what would your dad say if he saw you like this? I, <laughs> there's things in the woods! They're, they're, they don't make any sense! I mean, they, <laughs> my dad's a... Lawyer, we left that side. That's my uncle. He he does all the 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 gangster shit. I mean, I just, I uh, that's not me. That's not me. Yeah. I like going to school and telling jokes and stories and flirting with girls. Well, I want to go back. I want to okay. go back to Miss Guitar. You Higgins. remember the semester starts next year? Higgins, you want to go back? Yeah. You want to shout up girls? Yeah. You want to have a good time? Yeah. Great. Something horrible came out of the woods and grabbed Clarissa. You're right. So you want to get out of this? Come with us. We can keep you safe. We're gonna stay together. Everything Fine. you saw happened. No, it didn't. From... Fine. Go to the church. Maybe. Maybe God's there. Maybe there. Maybe there's. Maybe there's some rest that could be. Fine. I'll go. Yes. All right. What is this anyway? He holds up the gunpowder. Why uh, am I holding this? It's. You know what? Never mind. Just keep it dry. Come on. Yeah, I will. Right. I will make. I will. Make, I, I don't know. I don't know how difficult he is to persuade, but I'm trying to get him on side at least somewhat. Make a make a persuasion or a charm check. Ooh, or a charm. Mm. Just being friendly and Sandra. I mean, my persuade is higher, so I might I might do a persuade. Sure. See how we go. See if I get a single fucking success before good. the end of this bloody chapter, and I can hard success. Well, hey. Okay. All right. Uh, I yeah. am. I am I am doing my like it's not quite psychoanalysis but it's like I need you to focus and come with us and we're going to keep everyone safe and it's going to be okay all right yeah yeah uh, you get him online he will basically follow along after you he's not he doesn't want to go into any firefights obviously oh, that's uh, fine. but if you can find him somewhere safe where he can rest up yep. he will he will follow you uh, you right. head out into the rain Katie you are like limping slightly and the, the wound's pretty bad. I did quickly check. Uh, you can get rid of the major wound when you heal back to half your health, which you are one ah. off, I think. Uh, uh, or I a pawn roll at the end of a week or something, so. I am one off. Uh, does that mean that a first aid check? Well, it's a temporary hit. Uh, there's, on, there's only been one first aid check and it's already failed, so. Yeah, you're right. Good call. Um, All right, where are you heading? Uh, we're heading... So, okay. We are... At the doctor's. Correct. Is the sheriff on the way to the church? No, completely opposite directions, basically. Where's Karna's? Near the sheriff's. Karna's so also idea... has a phone, you were told. Yeah, so the idea was to loop to the sheriff's to see if we can find Block and Gibbons. Sure. I actually did want to stop by Karna's on the way because that's where um, Weasel was yep. and also the phone. Um, Finally, it's also in the direction... That general... Uh, let's go to the map, hang on. 
Nap time. <laughs> we got the damn nap. Let's use it. And by weasel, you mean Lazlo? Lazlo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just joining us. Yeah, sorry, Lazlo. I keep, I like brain having trouble with names today, so I'm like, I don't That's know. Right. I, I know them by their. Uh, so you guys are at a uh, nine, which is the docks. Mm -hmm. Sheriff is five, and Karnas is four, so they're over here. And uh, the address that you were given to meet Blaine would be like here-ish. Uh, number church? twelve is the church down here. Okay. Um. What do, what do you two reckon? Because we can go straight to the church, but then uh, Block and Gibbons are currently were currently told to meet us where we were meeting Blaine, so we do like we need to try and find them. Um, I think at least one of us should get to the church, start uh, start you know fortifying, see what we can do. But uh, yeah, someone needs to go find those other two. Yeah, um, you're going to the church. <laughs> Me, no I, arguments. I, I, I I kind of want to... They have guns, right? So do we. Yeah, but we only have one. They so do they. Yeah, we, we, we split. <laughs> yeah, but I well, want Kenny, you're going to the church. Seb, <laughs> you want to go to the... You want to go to the church? You want me to go to the church? One of us go to the church, one of us... Uh, I'll go to the, the church because I want to speak to the reverend. So Great. I'll Staying take with Katie. the gun. You I'm going to take a step towards, uh, I think, Chaz, who is currently... Oh, oh, has the gun. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> pass that to Seb. You can have the gun. I got these guns. I stepped away. All right, if that means that Katie and Higgins will stay with me, very good. Uh, just. Do you, do you know how to do you know how to use it, Seb? Nope. Uh, I'll hand it to Kate. Do you know how to use it? I'll figure it out, and I clutch it to my chest. Hell yes! <laughs> Katie's got a gun. <laughs> uh, Woo! I am okay with that. I'll be like, you know, just please don't point it anywhere near me when you're firing for the first time. Okay. Uh, very good. Uh, we're gonna... So, yeah. Higgins, Katie, and Seb will head to the church. Um, I assume the Reverend lives either, like, attached to the church or nearby. Should yep. we need to? Um, yeah. So, so, that's what we're doing. Okay. Uh, Chaz, where are you going? Uh, so I am looking for... Who am I looking for again? Block, Block and, and Gibbons. And, Gibbons. and Gibbons. theoretically anyone else you see on the way. Yeah. Um, if you f if you feel so uh, so inclined, um, Karnas has a phone, and I think we should tell the professor what's going on, but that's like very low down on the list of important shit to be doing. All right, and Karnas was... Right next to the sheriff's. Grocery? Yes, that's right. Fantastic. All right. Yep. Yeah, great. So uh, heading to the sheriff to find uh, those two. Okay. Uh, and also go right back near where you were recently arrested and if seen will be undoubtedly re-arrested. Uh, we got bigger problems right now. <laughs> it's, a, it's a scale. Okay. Um, you I will mean, head the choice out. Is send me to the sheriff and try and get, like, let me convince him to do something or send me to the reverend. And, you know, to, I'm just going to try and convince Chaz has people. got two guns. You guys have got one. The math's yeah. in his favor. <laughs> Okay, uh, you all head out under the rain and an then uh, split in two different directions. Uh, the uh, Sebastian, Katie, and Harry heading south. Chaz alone heading north back towards the sheriff's office. And we'll do Seb, Katie, and Harry first. That's how we know we're, we're less in danger. <laughs> um, uh, the three of you like rush through the rain. Um, Harry's helping you a little bit, Katie, but you've got the gun. You're nervously swinging around. Ah, uh, Seb, you're scanning. <gasps> we're everywhere. going by the grill, aren't we? The, According the to diner. the map. Yes, you will. Yeah. Do you want to stop? Brilliant. There? Uh, in fact, wanna... that's actually probably where you will split up from. You would like walk for a while and then split at that point. So yes. That great. Um, because I do want to see if Jason Haggerty is still inside. Sure. And if he is, he uh, is. You ask can see him, him the window. Do, uh, I'll I'll ask him to return a note if he can. Um, well, sure. The uh, thing is, I don't really know where he necessarily is. He just happened by me. I think it was a matter of convenience and such. Oh well, um, just in case you see him, you know, sure, if you're sure. out and about, um, and uh, I will just in this rain. I'm probably not traveling too far. Although, if, if you'd you like me him. to, if, if if it'd be handy for you, I can probably. And he looks to his mum, who like puts a hand and goes. It's pretty heavy out there. He'd probably best stay inside. Whatever is most convenient. Um, it's like a pretty heavy storm. Sending a kid out yeah, of here yeah, is a yeah, little yeah. risky. I, 
in special oh, in front how, of his how mom. old is this kid? 13. Oh, all right. Probably. I mean, I might look at him and say, if he happens to walk by the window, can sure. you let him know that um, we're, we're going to meet him at the church? Um, in addition, uh, you don't happen to know the local rhymes, do you? You know? Local rhymes? Just, you know. Uh, that's, that's, that's like, that's kid stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I've... I assumed you were a little too old for that, but I thought I'd ask. Yeah. No, it's not really, you know, not really my speed. Well, uh, thank you so much for your help if you should happen to stop by, uh, and I'll slide him a five dollar note. Sure. Um, he, he, like, oh, five dollars. Yeah, five I, dollars. that's a tenth of my daily spending limit. I um, did twenty to body, slide him five hundred cool bucks. <laughs> uh, Anne comes over to the two of you and says, um, hey, uh, uh, uh do you need a lift? back to the farmhouse or something tonight? I, I Normally uh, y'all we, aren't here and it's gonna get worse. Um, you probably want to get hunkered down. I presumed I was outside considering I'm cradling a shotgun. Oh so. yeah, <laughs> yes, that's yeah. probably true. So it's pretty um, there. We may take you up on that offer. We're just trying to find a few more of our um, companions. They, they seem to still be wandering. So we're, we're uh, meeting at the church just to kind of give ourselves a central location that's easy to see in this rain. You know, the steeple's kind of hard to miss. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for that. We may come back and avail ourselves of that That's in not a, a little bit. Not a problem. We're probably gonna uh, head in soon, so the diner's gonna be closed up. But if, if you really need help, just 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 knock, and we'll we'll come out. Thank you. That that's um that's very kind of you. I'll well. stay safe. Um, and she heads back inside. And you can see her clearly like talking to her husband. Like it's weird that a bunch of students are still running around in the middle of like it's cl- like it's, they're just probably just gossiping about like wow, that's a poorly run expedition because mm-hmm. it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, great. And then we'll head on down to church via okay. the reverend's house. Okay. Um, you all head down through the streets. Because um, I assume the church will be closed. Yeah. Uh, completely lashed with rain. Katie's cradling the gun. Um, and uh, you're, like, slipping and sliding through the mud. Harry's panicking at every, like, roll of thunder or, or clash. And he keeps on thinking he sees lights moving through the woods and, and flinching at them and, and neck on a swivel. Eventually, you spot the church up on a small hill silhouetted against a, a, a roll of a, a flash of lightning um, and storm clouds all up ahead. There is a small house off to the side where the Reverend lives. I don't entirely know how this conversation's going to go. Yeah. Walk up to the door and knock. Okay. Uh, you knock first and then there's no answer and you have to hammer to get over the noise of the storm and eventually the door is answered by Mabel. Uh, the Reverend's Actually, I don't think it is Mabel, it's something else. Anyway, the uh, Reverend's young um, wife, um, who answers it and says, Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, what can I do for you? Why are you out in this storm? Uh, our bus broke down and we were hoping uh, that the Reverend might be kind enough to allow us to uh, stay in the church just until the, the we can find alternative passage out. There, there's a few of us still... Uh, absent, and the church is a very good landmark, so we were hoping. Sure, sure, sure. Hey, come, come in out of the rain. Step inside, and you'll, like, come in, and you can take off jackets. And she goes, yep, Katie. Um, I, I was just thinking that, so yep. I'm kind of... I, I look around. Um, I, I, I glance at Seb. Is Seb sort of making come inside motions? Because otherwise the church is just, a, like, nearby. The church won't be open. I would, I would probably, Walker. like, there might be an eye flick of, like, towards the flower beds of just, like... Yep. I will hang outside, crouch in the flower beds, rocking back and forth, going seven. Oh, six, or, or was two. it like I, just the Melamine. suggestion was like put the shotgun behind a bush and come inside. <laughs> uh, you need to make a stealth uh, roll if you're hiding. I'm gonna hide. Make a stealth roll. <laughs> wow, that's a success. Honestly, okay. I'm just gonna assume that like Seb looks for Katie and she isn't there, and it's just like. Harry's still standing next to you, though, kind of, like, muttering a little bit. Um, she goes, c- c- come inside, come inside, get those wet clothes off. Um, get that jacket off, and we'll, we'll, we'll dry you by the fire. Um, you come in, it's a small little cottage, very basic. Um, there's a room off to the side where um, uh, their son, uh, Jacob, is, um, like, doing homework or something, and there's a fire, uh, which the reverend is posted in front of in the patriarch chair. Uh, <laughs> he, he looks over, and he sees you come in, and he just sort of like sternly looks and then he stands up uh, and makes his way across. Um, he recognizes you from church, Seb, so he addresses you and he says, 
What can I do for you? Reverend. And, sorry, go ahead. No, you go. I'll say his, his wife does like a bit of like, you know, they were out in the storm. They want to see if they can stay in the church and son and son and son. And he, he is pretty rude to her. He kind of like cuts her off and looks to you and goes, they can explain themselves, Martha. What are you doing on my doorstep? We'd like to claim succor in the church, sir. Don't you have a farmhouse to go to? We can't get to it. Our bus was crashed hopper up the mountain. What on earth were you doing crashing a bus? I believe we were run uh, they were running away from something that was trying to uh, attack them. Something? It was foggy, they didn't see, but one of the students has been lost. Uh, have you told the sheriff? Yes. Good. Good. Well, um... Yes. Of course. You can stay in the church. Thank you. You'll be um, safe there. Um, he gets a key out, and he says, Martha, bring something to drink. And eat. Warm blankets and such. How many of you are there? Uh, there is about five... There's five of us or six of us? Six of us. Hang on. Yeah. Three, four, six. Uh, there are six that we have currently collected and a handful more um, may still be wandering the town. We're not sure. We've sent word out, hopefully, that they will find us here. Um, but... Uh, it's eight to nine, I think. Well, follow me. We'll get you squared away. As you leave, um, following after him, uh, Martha will step forward and just, just quickly say, I, I, I saw one of your um, friends, uh, a heavyset young man, very friendly. Uh, he was interviewing the school mom. Um, he headed off back into town not too long ago. Um, is he with you? Yes, if you know where he went um, and can... I don't, I'm sorry. Um, he was heading into town. All right, thank you. I'll um, see if I can sure. get to him. Sure, I, I, I hope- If you see any other of the students, uh, please let them know we're, we're here on the off chance. Sure, I, I, I hope you're all okay. I do too. Um, she heads to get like some tea and stuff and uh, then you follow the Reverend out um, towards the church. Katie, can you give me a spot hidden roll? As you're uh, crouched I, outside. Do I have to? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'd love that, James. That is a failure. Okay, all good. Um, crouched outside in the like the flowers and things, the door opens again, and uh, Seb, the Reverend, and Harry begin to head down towards the church. Um, from here, uh, they'll open it up for you, and you can uh, be led in towards the pews. Uh, you will be brought some blankets and things so that you can make yourselves comfortable. And, and uh, when he leaves at a moment, Katie can come in, stash the gun somewhere within like easy access, but hidden to obvious eyes, and you can all rest for a little bit. Um, will... Harry paces back and forth and eventually settles in front of the large, like the pew or the altar with a figure of Christ above it. Um, and here you can see him just looking up into the eyes of the uh, crucified figure. Um, muttering to himself and clearly seeking some sort of religious guidance. Is um, the ch is the reverend like? Can I have a very quick word to him before he leaves? Sure, uh, Katie, you're here as well at this point. It's it's you've like gotten in touch. He comes back to give you tea and coffee. Martha's like trying to talk to Harry a little bit. Um, their son is not here. He was doing his homework and hasn't hasn't come back. Um, uh, what do you want to say? Just um. I found your sermon the other, uh, this morning very, um, very this rousing. Morning. Oh my god. Yeah, this morning. Uh, I found your sermon this morning very rousing, Reverend. Um, is that the usual tone of, of church on Sundays? No, it isn't, but it's the tone that's needed. This town has been asleep for too long and needs to be shaken awake. Well, it sounds like uh, something's woken up. And I'll just look up to the storm. There's like a um, thunder in the distance and rain pouring down. He listens to it and he says, God's hand is in everything. I feel him acting here. Although I do not know his purpose. 
You say you were followed? Not into town, and not me personally. I was followed. I was on the bus. What was it that acted against you? Um, I kind of look back and forth uh, uh, towards the, the figure of Christ in the background. And uh, I kind of will look towards him speechless and kind of open my mouth and then not be able to say anything and shut it again. He goes, good. Think on what you believe you may have seen, but understand there are no pagan myths walking these woods. This place is a good place. This place is a safe place. I have seen to that and I will continue to see to it. You're safe here. Rest, eat, and come dawn, you can leave. Thank you, Reverend. Martha? And she leaves Harry, and they both depart. Uh, quick check. Psychology, please. Make a psychology roll. Thank you. It's Katie, not very high, anything? but uh... Um, I would like to, uh, as soon as they are gone, Seb, give me the, give me the, the discs. Hard success. Hard success. Uh, okay. Uh, you were also sending the discs earlier, so we'll, we'll kind of check very quickly. Um, he does not mess around with fairy tales and things. Uh, he to the point that like he would more believe you were probably up there like drinking or getting in trouble or something. He just he seems to be very like almost close-minded to it. Like, he's just straight up ignoring it. Um, with the hard success, his wife seems to be taking a little bit more... Like, they're both taking it seriously. Um, his wife seems to have listened to, like, when you said, like, something followed, and she's, like, you see her, like, curious a little bit. Um, seemed to take that a little bit more in stride. So long as his phrase of, like, uh, this town is safe and I have... I intend to keep it that way does not mean he's the one doing the murdering. I don't actually care past that point. He might be doing That's great. He's a very severe figure. He's a little hard to read. He seems to... But there seems to be a bit of like a you are under the cloak of uh, Christ here. You will be great. safe. Like That's um, what we wanted. Uh, fantastic. So yeah. Um, uh, Miss Wilkes, I think I could use your eyes on this one and I'll pull out the thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is there a, uh, like, I want a reclude, a secluded place, something where I feel like, like there's only one area of entry, preferably. I mean, if this place has like, I don't know, a bell tower that I can go into or something, um, otherwise just like a, a corner, a vestibule or whatever, I would like to park there with there's the shotgun. There's a confessional. Do you want to confess? Oh wait, is that what you were thinking? Like, like that's, is that That's great. Hell I will yes. park in the confessional with a shotgun and start looking at the alien discs. Call a Cthulhu, baby. That's so good. That's so good. All right, so you, like, head back into the confessional, uh, sit down. There's that little, like, sliding thing to the side uh, so you can confess your sins. Uh, you close I'm it still up. still bleeding from, like, a stab wound. This is, this is You peak. pull your hand away and there's, like, red all over it and you, you lean the shotgun across you and begin to study the thing, clicking it into place. Katie, could you give me a mathematics roll? Oh, yes. Can I, have I been able to look at it at all? Yes, it would be mathematics to, to oh, you could, uh, your, what languages do you have, sorry? Well, hey, uh, classic Greek and modern French and English. So okay. Latin, Greek, well, Latin-based Greek. You can English. like reconfirm that this is not a language you know. Um, apart from that, you could over like extend thing, you might be able to begin to, but it's, it's, it's not a language you recognize. Uh, Katie, it's not a language you recognize. You have no idea what it says, but there seems to be some sort of... There is a pattern to pieces of it, and you click it into little mm -hmm. things. It does seem like a decoder, like within different shapes, it says different things. Um, like the, the, the meters connect up differently. Uh, you can't interpret it. This is the sort of thing that would take weeks, if not months of study. Um, but it's enough to pique your curiosity and you do think you can see like it, there is a there is a formula to it this can be interpreted and you like get out one of your little notebooks you mean like scratch down like your beginning ideas um, as outside the storm continues is there anything further two of you would like to do or else we're going to have a check in on Chaz uh, I think Seb just paces between like Higgins and Wilkes and 
the like close to the door and is just like doing a perimeters second. yeah um kind of keeping an eye on everyone and trying to make sure no one cracks okay all right um sebastian paid is seeing harry pl- praying and katie investigating that works um <laughs> We go back to Chaz as when you all split up at the diner, Chaz headed north into town, bound for the sheriff's office. Yeah, trying to stick to the shadows a little bit if I can. Sure. Because there's a sheriff patrolling who just arrested me. Yeah, so like the, uh, like walk along, like darting uh, away from streetlights and you're completely soaked through. Um, your boots are wet and you've got this shotgun like uh, up under it. Oh no, you didn't bring the gun uh, actually, no. did you? You got no. a pair of guns wrapped in cloth. Um, uh, completely waterproof. <laughs> go Marines. And I know uh, how to use them. Yeah, uh, you yeah. go like like scouting through. Um, at one point you see a pair of headlights through the town, um, and you believe it to be a large enough truck to be the sheriff's vehicle, and it seems to be doing like a grid pattern, moving along the whole thing and searching uh, street by street. Could you give me a stealth test with a bonus dice? I was afraid you'd ask that. Ooh! Oh! And it's confirmed. Not bad. You uh, see it coming, hey. and you're able to completely avoid it, darting like past a bush and letting it go right directly past you. And at that point, you can confirm that um, uh, it is the sheriff. You can see him, there and he's and he's scanning. You can't see the inside, given like the the light on the exterior, but um, he's definitely looking looking around the place. Uh, eventually, you get closer towards the sheriff's thing, and at one point in the distance, you hear a crack of thunder. But then, as you get closer, there's no lightning. And you think it might have been a gunshot. Oh my god. Oh no. Sorry, from where? Over towards oh. near the sheriff's place. It's a little uh, ways away. You sh- feel like it's as you're sneaking up, you hear it, and then you get a little closer and there's no lightning. I will sprint as best as I can while still remaining somewhat. Crouching hidden. low, you like rush yeah. towards it. Um, and eventually you get towards uh, the uh, sheriff's office. So there's Kana's goods, the uh, reporter, and the sheriff's office. Uh, the sheriff, the office door is open. Um, and there are lights on inside, but you can't see figures moving immediately. What do you want to do? Charge in head first. Okay. Headlong into danger. You sprint in, bash the door open, and like breathing heavily, rain, uh, water dropping off to you onto the floor. Looking around, uh, there's no one in here immediately, but the door to Excuse the cells me. is open. Uh, continue charging. You continue through, and uh, yeah. you can see uh, Wendell is still inside the cell. He looks up yeah. at you, and he says... He freaks out when he first comes in. He backs up against. He goes, "Oh, oh, Chaz, uh, you got to get out of here." Tell me what happened. You got to run. You got to run. Tell me what happened. Whatever it was, I don't know what it was, but it got the other two. What? You got to oh, run. Uh, and from behind on. you, the door slides shut, and you can hear uh, the the door to the outside, and you can hear footsteps on the ground. What are you doing? Don't see the keys anywhere, do I? Not immediately. You gave me the windows in here. Is Chaz's cell still open? Uh, yeah. The it's windows in here, like the non-barred windows. All barred. This is the this is the jail cell, baby. Shoot. Wendell uh, crouches down and backs up towards the the outside. Keys are really visible. Nope. I guess I'll lock myself back in the cell. So you get Not into lock. the cell. Can I close it without locking? Yeah. Do you want to make it look like it's locked? Is that the idea? Like it's right up next sure, to it? Sure, yeah. Yeah. Give me... I need a roll. Mechanical repair? Actually, yes, we'll do mechanical repair. Don't roll it yet. We're going to okay. roll it when it's dramatically sad. interesting to know if you've succeeded or not. Currently, it is shut. You think it looks pretty good. Okay. Footsteps along the ground, and the door comes open. And stepping inside is the deputy, Cutter. He sees you. He's got an empty holster where a pistol might be held, but his hands are down at his sides. He comes inside, and he goes, Mr. Dedrick. It's all messed up now, Cutter. It's all messed up. Some of my friends just came in for a quick visit. Guess what? They ain't here anymore. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, it's uh, it's not real surprising. 
This ain't my work, Chaz. I told you. I'm a third party. But you're trying my hands. And now it's been forced. And I'm gonna have to act. He moves forward and he think you see the cell pushed up just against the edge. What are you doing? Uh, do you say he's got a gun or he doesn't? No, no gun. No gun. Um, as soon as he uh, gets close enough, I'm going to burst forward, swing the cell door out and try and knock him out with it. Okay. Oh Make my that God. mechanical repair roll. Let's see if he's un if he if he's noticed. Oh, come Cause on. Because if he's surprised, it might be uncontested. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh. He has no idea. He thinks oh I'm god. locked and secured. And he gets right up to the next of it. You're able to get close enough, and you're gonna surprise him. What do you want to do? Full body tackle! <laughs> yeah, full body, like, slam the metal bars straight into his skull. Okay. Okay. Please tell me you just yell, HUT, right before you do it. <laughs> Uh, no, he doesn't see it coming. You get like a foot I'm on the back silent wall. silent and deadly. And just yeah. close the distance, hit the bars, slam it into him and across. Uh, make a fighting Strength. brawl test. Oh, actually, it's gonna it's gonna be fighting brawl. Um, but take right. a bonus dice and I'm not gonna repost or dodge. It's just gonna- It's, 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 it's coming. Yeah. This is it. Uh, should I roll damage as well or should we make up the damage afterwards? Uh, I'm gonna do, we're gonna do a d6 My... plus, plus damage bonus. Oh, oh fantastic. Oh, yes. All right, so here comes the first roll. And... Chaz the Hammer Dedrick. Yes, yeah, so just a, a 47, I guess okay. that's a hit. Yeah, roll a, roll a d6 said, with a d4. Uh, d6, my damage bonus is d4, so 1d6, 1d4, 8 oh my God. damage. That's a lot Major of wound. damage. I might have just knocked him out. You might have. Well, it's fun to You might have, indeed. Let's have a little look-see at old Deputy John Cutter's character sheets. This roll, went roll to keep her. unexpectedly well. You slam it into him. He's completely stunned, and he is hurled bodily back across. You hear Wendell go, yeah! <laughs> uh, and then you're standing over him. He gets, like, hit against the back. He slides along the ground to the rear of the cells, and he's still blinking. As he looks up at you, we're going to go to dexterity order. What's your dex? Uh, it is 50. Unfortunately... Uh, he gets slid he across the out? ground. He did not. He rolled his con. He, that oh. was a major wound. You have, you have, you have uh, knocked him out. He slides across the round. You can do that again. He's out, though. And he goes, oh, no, you don't. Deputy John Cutter doesn't need a gun. His hands come up, twist in a strange symbol, and suddenly your leg buckles from underneath you in pain. Uh, can you make a power roll? I doubt it. Here we go. This is where Sam would have been useful. Yeah! <laughs> He's tough. He underestimated the Dedrick. Cutter is... Eight points of luck for an extreme if you want to completely... Do you want to... I've, I've rolled mine. I know what level of success I got. If it's, oh. if it's matched, he will beat you. Do you want to spend it for the extreme? I would be inclined to do so. Okay. Yes. Eight right. points. Burn the luck. Um, you suddenly, your leg like buckles from underneath you, twisting as the muscles rearrange and you begin to feel this insane pain coming through it. But you force yourself back up and to stand on it. And suddenly you see in the deputy's eyes, panic. What do you do? Oh, uh, you've succeeded. There's no effect. Hit him in the freaking face. Yeah, I'm going to just uh, go to town. If there's something close by I can belt him chair. with, I will do so. Yeah, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty bad. Oh, you can get like, that's probably like a, yeah, you, uh... Actually, it's probably it's pretty barren. This is like the wait, cells. There's wait, no other times like, right? fists. No, there's no key. No, no you had a key, key to like. No, you gave it to block. Gave but, it to block. but you were given a single key to get you out of the cell, and you had a key ring which you gave to block. Would you not still have the single key? It's a good you point. Make a, you make a lock check. Uh, the, the single key is not going to do a ton of damage. You're on. No, it's... but the point is like I don't know if you've ever put again yeah, 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 walking yeah, alone have... at night yeah, looking yeah, yeah. like this. Keys between your fingers. If you knock, if you hit someone hard enough in the right place with some keys, make make a luck roll. I just spent all my luck, so no. <laughs> yeah. All right. Never it's, mind. It's uh, not with you. That's all right. Just a, a regular old uh, vanilla beatdown. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. 
boom, boom, boom. Uh, Remember, he's got a major wound, so one point of damage, he has to repeat the uh, con check. Mm -hmm. Eight points of damage now. <laughs> uh, he can he can repost this time. I'd like to see him try. He's going to dodge. <laughs> No, you get him. Roll, roll, yes. roll. Uh, D three plus your damage bonus. D three plus damage, really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Uh, all right, here it comes. Three plus four. Crunch, oh, dude. Oh no! You like oh, slam yes. into him. He tries to do some bullshit wizard nonsense. He gets <laughs> hurled aback. You close the distance on an injured leg, and then you just tackle into him. You hear a crunch, and when you step back. The sheriff isn't moving. Uh, the deputy isn't moving. Fantastic. Toss him in the open cell. Uh, see if I can lock it without the key. Uh, yeah, you just like click it shut and it, it locks. All right. Best of luck, Wendell. Wendell goes like, no, you you cannot leave me in here. You saw. Sorry, him block had the keys. You saw. You saw. Block had the keys. God Best damn of luck. it. Asshole. Does it? Does the deputy not still have his key ring? Possibly. Have a look. Any any spare set? Uh, yeah, he'd probably actually. He probably wouldn't. Because I, would, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't him. have thrown in, thrown him in the cell if I. Before yes, I that's true. That's true. All right, yeah. Uh, you, uh, you, you check him. He does not have keys on him. He doesn't have All them right. with him. He's, he's removed of them. Okay. Um, you head back out. All right. We uh, so we lost Block and and uh, who else was with Block? Higgins. Gibbons. Uh, Gibbons. Gibbons. Uh, we lost Block and Gibbons, but we also took uh, Cutter out of the equation. I would say that's. A net zero. Net positive. So I'm okay. Uh, down one. Zero. Down two. Up one, maybe. Yeah, you're right. Net yeah, zero. but you know, it was Cutter, who's apparently a wizard, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he <laughs> counts for both. Wizards. wizards count for two. All right, uh, so that situation resolved. I'm heading to the church. Okay, all right. You head back out. There's no sign of uh, Gibbons or Block, nor any vehicles nearby, and you begin to rush through the rain up towards Wait, the church. When the war was that thing that took him? Just 25 words or less. So I'm fucking. Of time. Some fucking, like, it, it looked like a person, but I, I, as soon as it got closer, it wasn't right. Great, thanks, bye. What, you can't just leave me in here? I uh, do. And you, you, you bail on him and it's head back out. It's not an um, Out on the road, you begin to make your way back towards uh, the, uh, the church. Can you give me a stealth roll? Shaz, you have been nailing this so far. Don't stop now. Jinxing it. Oh, I need a sanity roll as well, actually. <gasps> you're muted. You're muted, you're muted, you're muted. Ah. What am I being muted for, I wonder aloud. Uh, um, no, there's a stealth, uh, which I failed. There's a sanity, which I have failed. Okay, for the sanity, let's do a, uh, can you just take a d3? This is a combination of seeing what you believe to be magic and also uh, knocking someone to the point of possible. Yeah, you know, she'll, she'll be right. Yeah, I saw magic, but, you know, apparently you can still knock people out when they Did have it magic. Work? So, that's great. Okay. Uh, all right. And I will not fumble my stealth. Um, you begin to you sort you sort of head through streets, going around back alleys and things. You see the sheriff's um, car slide past in the distance, um, uh, going working its way through the town. Um, and then as you're getting towards the uh, the church, um, you spot a figure silhouetted against the rain, standing in an open side street, unmoving. Just held completely still. You can't make out any features. What do you do? What do you mean? They're, they're held still? They're, just just uh, standing perfectly still. Just standing perfectly still. Um, I think to myself, what would Katie do? And uh, I think Katie would, has such a kind heart that she would immediately stop whatever she's doing and go over and investigate and see if they need help. So um, thanks, Katie. Thanks for being my inspiration. You turn and begin to walk towards it, and as it does, Bye. its head turns and tracks you, and then it steps backwards um, out of the light a little bit towards a corner, and you hear from around the bend um, the voice of Clarissa go, Hello? Chaz? Chaz, I, I just got back. I can't find anyone. I want to have some kind of role to know that something's not right because yeah. ordinarily Chaz would just believe it. Quick uh, psychology? Yeah, psychology or listen to like maybe to, to, to study it or... Um, I'll have a listen, yeah. 
I mean, you can see weird shits going on. You're allowed to be Yeah, paranoid. okay, yeah. I'll be a little bit paranoid then, if you'll allow listen. Mm hmm of course. Yeah. It do, it's, it's not quite right. There's this, like, drone underneath it, and it no. sounds like she's right in front of you, talking. You can hear it over the rain, but there's no mm. sound. Like, it's in theory from around the corner. It's... That's not her. No yeah. chance. And that figure uh, sounds very similar to what Katie described seeing. Yeah, right. Chaz? Chaz? Uh, we're, we're meeting back at the diner. We'll all be there in a few minutes. Just, just hurry, all right? I'll see you there. Chaz, I, I can't see anything. I know, but I gotta get everyone else together. The, the, just get the, to the diner. Just the, get to the diner. The rest left. You can't leave too. It'll be fine. I'll see you there. You and hear I run without looking back. This scream, just like, ah! from around the corner, and you begin to run. Um, can you give me another sanity roll? And then, <sighs> uh, no fast talk needed. Okay, uh, take a point. Mm -hmm. And you sprint as fast as you can up towards the church. You don't look behind you, too nervous of what you might see. And when you hit the doorway, um, you rush up the stairs and Seb, you're pacing. You see him come towards the front. Uh, what do you guys do? All right. Uh, Gibbons and Block are gone. They had the gun. They had the keys. Apparently, Wendell said Mars took them. Cutter found me. No worries. He's unconscious in the cell. So, you know, net positive, I reckon. Also, I heard Clarissa's voice just around the corner coming from this figure. Don't think it was Clarissa. I told it we we're going to the diner. So I think it bought it. Great. I rush out Where's hearing Chaz. Glad to hear that he's okay. No Great. sign of Blaine yet? Uh, nope. And based on all that, Chaz. Yeah. You're a strong lad. Yeah. Get all these pews in front of the door now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good job, Chaz. We're gonna barricade the fucking door. <laughs> and we, we hold one... it up till morning inside the church. I mean, we that, one that's... gun down. Sorry about that, but I think uh, one will be enough. Right. You okay. punch, I'll shoot. All right. You begin to, like, drag things in front of the, the doorway, barricade it as best you can. Uh, the Reverend doesn't return. He, when he last spoke to you, he said, like, I'll see you in the morning, so you don't expect to see him. Can we find Chaz a nice, heavy brass statue of the Madonna or something to really yeah. brain I, someone? Well, like, the yeah. Madonna? Uh, can... That sounds a bit Catholic to me. <laughs> Not very um, no, but like a candelabra you? or something. Like a solid, oh, no, so they're like... Baptists, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This place is riddled with artifacts. You can you can have something nice and hefty. Yeah. Uh, you find yourself something to do, and then you begin to block off doors. Uh, there is the large front doors, and there is also a side door, which leads back towards, um, like, storage and things. And then from there, you can get out closer towards the house. Those are the two entrances. Otherwise, it's all these. You've got these um, tall... Uh, they're actually not stained glass. They're just uh, thick glass windows along the edges. Um, and then like the banisters up above you begin to drag pews in front of it and then blockade the other door and then sort of sit nervously listening to the uh, the sound outside um, time begins to pass at this point it's it's late you were given a bit of food and like some coffee and things which has now gone cold by Martha um, and it's sort of like 9 or, or pushing towards 10 you don't know exactly nothing seems to have really been happening the like anxiety like the panic has like faded away to just like a sense of dread as the storm outside continues but begins to ease to just like constant rain the thunder and lightning gone um miss wilkes you still have your book bag don't you yeah yeah i, I want to have a look at those books that blaine was looking through they're all occult books Good. i hey, speak multiple you're... languages and i have more than base in a cult, trust me, I'm good with this. Okay. And I want to start thumbing through those books for anything I can find, anything mm -hmm. of interest. Hey, Katie, if you got your notebook here and if you're feeling up to it, do you want to start writing down everything that's happened tonight, just in case, you know, someone finds the books but they don't find us? Yeah, yeah, I can record everything I can and I will begin to do so. Uh, and I will, I will interject as I'm like thumbing through the books, I'll interject like things that Katie didn't know about that we have come across I might try and like nudge Higgins to be like anything else like you know try and get everyone involved he's pretty in... out of it yeah but I'll, everyone involved uh, in relaying what we know and I'll try to keep watch as best I can without okay. being spotted from outside alright 
Uh, so, Seb, you have a look through some of the occult books. Mm -hmm. um, they are from uh, uh, different libraries, uh, from New York, uh, the Miskatonic, the Orn Library at the Miskatonic University, and also some that are just like other. You're not really sure where they are. Um, the first is called H.P. Blavatsky's Isis Unveiled. Second is Reginald Scott's The Discovery of Witchcraft. I can give you these in a list as well. Um, oh and, and then Ludovico Maria Sinastrari's Demonal Demoniality. Uh, all clearly occult tomes. And as you flip through them, you can see like notes and things scroll within them. Any one of these can uh, give you bonuses to occult when studied. Um, and you can also begin to get an insight into into uh, Blaine's mind and what he's looking for, but it takes a while to like get through them, and that'll be a longer process. I mean, process. if we've got a bloody night, um, that's what I'm doing. As Unless, not not a whole know. lot of sleep. Yep. Nope. I don't think that was happening anyway. Katie, you begin to document everything that's happened over yep. the past few days. You're very thorough. Um, you get cross references with everyone, and you begin to fill like pages with uh, theories and also just like you know the facts spelled out. Um, yeah, are I mean, there any adjustments you make to the truth? I, I want to try and I want to try and I'm thinking of the legal ramifications of this, and I would like to do anything that I can to kind of like inoculate us from it. Um, so you uh, are you are adjusting it? No, no, I, I don't. I, I, I adjust it. I, I don't know. I, I think I'm omitting. I'm omitting uh, some of the more like direct crimes we've committed. But um, Chaz has and, bludgeoned two people to near death. Yes. So I think I kind of I kind of stop at the beginning of the uh, I don't know I'm uh, just gonna get it down as is. So you get down the truth and you can figure it out later. Yeah, and maybe maybe I'll exactly I just get down the truth and then if we've got hours and nothing else is going to occur, um, would you permit me to assist uh, Seb's occult role? It's it's not a role; it's a study. Like this is okay. a the books take you a while to study. You are beginning that process. That will take you longer than just tonight. Never, never mind then. I mean, you can begin to get it clean. Um, Chaz, you get up towards the edges and start pacing around, occasionally looking out into the storm. You think you see things moving every now and then on the edges. And as time goes, you get towards like the early morning when the storm's beginning to, to, to falter. Um, you're definitely certain you saw something move at one point, but that was hours ago. And by this point, like exhaustion's beginning to set in and you're all fairly tired. And that's where you, you hear from outside uh, a voice go, Hey, uh, guys, I can't get in the door. And it sounds like Noakes. And then from another window, you hear, H Hello? Hello? Are you in there? C can someone let us in? Yeah, it sounds a lot like Clarissa. Nope. Uh, did, did Chaz told us about the Clarissa thing? Mm -hmm. I'm going to look to the other two and go... Does Noak's voice have the same quality I picked up on before? Now that you've noticed it, there's like a buzz that undercuts everything, and it kind of like it just it just off it puts you a little bit off. It's uncomfortable and it's it's just kind of gross. It ain't them. Something with their voices, but it ain't them. Well, we stay silent, and we stay quiet, and um, let's hope they go away. You're tapping along the glass. When you look out, there's just like a silhouette moves past and these voices continue. They use a number of different ones. You hear Clarissa, you hear Noakes, you hear Block and Gibbons, you hear Laszlo, well that one probably isn't very successful, uh, and you even hear a, an attempt at Trent's very quiet voice. You don't hear Higgins or any of your own, nor Blaine's, or all the other members of your expedition are, are heard outside. Can you all make sanity rolls please? Nope. Oh, Good. Very much yes. Just Chaz. Just Chaz. Uh, Chaz, can you take uh, a D3? D3, mate. Oh. It's beginning to set in. It's growing on you. Slowly. I'm four off temp insane. Oof. Uh, you'd be four off indefinite. Temp is five Temp is the, the one. Yes, or, yes indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is it five or a fifth? Of, no. Five, five. five is, is temp. And then a fifth a is indefinite in one yeah. day. Quite right. Eventually, though, the storm abates. And as you're getting towards earlier and earlier in the morning, um, uh, you can see the sun beginning to rise outside, and there's no silhouettes out there when it does. At, like, six or so, sun's up. Nothing else seems to be around. What are you all doing? Oh, heck. 
That's all we heard, just uh, Noakes and Clarissa? No, all, uh, pretty much everyone so from the expedition everyone. besides oh, yourselves over the course of the night. Uh, including Blaine? Yeah. No, not Blaine. Not Once Blaine. we have the protection not Blaine of, or any the sun, of the four of you. we head out and we get out of here. If we go back into town, I think there's a chance we all get arrested. Nope, not a chance. I'm going right. to go, we are going to, we're going to Karna's, we're getting that phone and we're calling the professor. We have no other way out of here. Okay. We don't have an exit. Our exit is the professor. Our exit right. was Blaine, but now we see no. Blaine, we're going to shoot him. Our exit was never Blaine. And if we see Blaine, we will be going through him. And I like hold up the pointed end of my uh, umbrella kind of menacingly. I think we're speaking the same language here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Harlow's Hollow, truck. I, I reckon Harlow's truck might be a way out. Blaine was Blaine was driving it, and then he parked in that area just on the outskirts of town. Uh, I don't know if he's... I don't know if he'd have moved it. That close, getting something started in the mud like that, he maybe, he might have walked if he went back into town. If we head to where he was on the outskirts, there's a chance we don't run into anybody, and we can pick up the truck and just drive out of here. I don't think Blaine was there to meet us. I think he was sending people there to get picked off. I don't think he was there. Maybe you're right. I'm happy to go and check. We see the truck in town and he has to have parked it somewhere. Didn't, 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 didn't it get seen going out of town in that direction? No, it, it got seen going past the diner as I understand, but that's- Would the direction have lined up to be heading out to that area? Yep, but you could have easily lived around and gone anywhere else. Yeah. If I were sending people to their death, maybe I'd want to sit by and watch. I mean, he's demented, right? He, I don't know. Well, then he can watch us all walk out of the church and into the center of town. Okay, I trust you. Let's let's do it. I've I, I've got all the papers and everything we need. We're going to the center of town. We're going to Carnes. It's close enough. All right. We still got that gunpowder. Uh, so sort of Higgins does, I think. Are you carrying the uh, gunpowder and the gun? It's now like daytime. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I don't think I don't think we should bring it. If we're handing ourselves in, I don't think we should bring it. What part of? I'm sorry. Handing ourselves in. Well, I mean, if we walk in the center of town, we're going to get arrested. They're going to stop us. What makes you think this is getting arrested? Um, well, I mean, the attempted murder we're all complicit to. We got lost. There was a storm. We hold up in the church. Uh, I, I, I beat the crap out of Cutter. He doesn't know that? Oh, great. Well, I mean, How would he know that? If he went back to the sheriff's office and found Cutter. Chaz was, Chaz was already arrested and broke out and- That's but, true, yeah. Okay. I think uh, we're, all, uh, we're all on the run right now. At this point- with me. What is your general thing? Do you want to try and get into Carners and, and get a call to the sheriff? Do you want to try and get like a car and get the hell out? Or do you just try and- I, I don't know that we're getting out of here without like the professor coming to get us. I don't think there's another way out. Like okay. Harlow is going to- I don't know. Also, have you informed us? Cause I don't think you have in character, but I just want to double check. Have you oh. informed us that the bus was sabotaged? No, I, w I sorry, I, I would have. I, I, right. I, I assume that I, as soon as we get, I, yeah. I'm, I've been yelling information as, Great. as, as, In that as, case, as possible. I don't trust anything that doesn't come from outside now. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, maybe maybe, maybe Chad should stay here with the guns and we should go in and try and try and call. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're not spotted with me just yet, that might give you some more time to move around. If we're spotted with the guns, I feel like it's a foredrawn conclusion. All right, okay. but how am I going to know if he needs some help? I think we're you on just our shout. own. You just shout as best you can. Just yell. Just yell. All right. Uh, and uh, Higgins? He'll stay with you, I guess. He'd rather stay with the person with the gun, would be his. Uh, All right. Excellent choice. Okay. So, <sighs> um, what happens from here is Sebastian and Katie make their way into town. The whole place is like in that after um, rain. I uh, feel like there's rainbows coming through the sky and, and, and a bright sun. Now that the clouds have, have released all the 
uh, the rain. It's it's very pleasant outside, and the, the trees around are you know thick with droplets and hanging down. People are beginning to come out, return to work. It's it's Monday, so a lot of people have you know jobs and things. That sense of farming community, so pretty much each day is a work day. Um, but there's a lot of people out and about. You make your way to Kana's goods, and um, they are happy to let you use the phone. When you call the Miskatonic University and ask after Professor Roger Harold, uh, you are told that he was already contacted and departed yesterday night um, to get there. He should be arriving, if he drove through the night, sometime early this morning would be your hope. I would be there. contacted hope. him. Uh, the receptionist doesn't know, but uh, uh, Anne, oh, sorry, is it Anyway, the uh, coroner, uh, Christine, Kana will say that Terence Laszlo was in here calling the previous night um, and presumably it was him unless someone else called him. Okay. Unless serious actions are taken, you will all be arrested in the next thing. You would have to actively hide and obscure. You are all... Uh, the whole thing with Jimmy was enough to get you uh, arrested and they were already putting out a, a call on you and the sheriff basically has, you know, it's, it's his word. Uh, they put uh, Jimmy's death uh, he had spoken with Laszlo and Laszlo had pointed the three of you as being the ones that were directly involved so that one's going to be a mark against you and secondly, Deputy Cutter come morning seriously wounded but not dead will also say that Chaz attacked him and you will be put you had tried to kill uh, a deputy of the law in town which is true which is true uh, also, you broke out. Also, you stole firearms. Um, and they also, and the sheriff also says he's going to... Any other students that are found, he presumes they're all off hiding somewhere. Um, so Chaz and Higgins will be rounded up and brought down as well. And you will spend the morning in cells. He's going oh. to arrest the two of us. Yes. Under what charges? Doesn't Murder. matter. And, as, and, and, and assisting it. Yeah, absolutely. And being that you the guys have done in also, this tiny town. Yeah, and Chaz broke out of jail. You assisted it. You were running around all night. You guys have done some very dodgy things, just from the perception I of the will, Okay, you have one person's... So, okay. So The other is, one is also is... just, he's the sheriff and he says so. Like, they might the be, we might be able to fight it down Sebastian, the line, you can fight this later. At the moment, there. you are going in a jail cell. Unless yeah, you, I'm like, try to run. This one. No, but I was... I, no, I'm not going to try and run. Uh... <laughs> both the deputy and Laszlo have said that three of you were involved in Jimmy McLaren's death so for Where's... that alone you are getting arrested yeah but that's one kid's yeah and you're getting arrested for that and they'll, and they'll investigate it is the... and it's I also mean, it's, is... his, it's his brother-in-law so this is all involved there's a lot of from, you've got from going to the general store is that right is that what we're and at, so. and the facility, like the next like beat or so, like the the sheriff comes to arrest, and you'll you'll find this out in the in in the next couple hours or whatever as you as you yeah. ride out the morning in a, in a cell. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. I have an angle I'd like to play. You can try. As we get into the town, I can see that we're not going to immediately be grabbed. Um, I oh, would no, like you, to. Oh, sorry. Yes, that's right. Yes, you were going. You two are going to Kana's. Yep. Go yeah, um, if, if you can make it to Kana's by yourself, and I check this with you first, um, Seb, uh, my plan would be to go to the, uh, to, the, to, the, to the doctors and basically say, hey, I, I, can't, I, was, I was impaled on a tree, and then when I came in, I was, I was in surgery, I went to rest at the church, I came back, like, I, I play the kind of, I, how could I have been involved when I was out of commission? I understand I'll be arrested, but... Yeah. I'm just securing that. Uh, the doctor doesn't... You're asking him to lie to police. Oh, oh to no, I, I'm not asking him to say anything. Like, I, I, you, well, you're you saying say that every... you were here the whole time, which you... you know. You no, 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 I left. I went I went from the doctors to the church. I think, and then you're going are back Are you angling there. with, like, your uh, injury was too bad for you to have done anything significant? We can figure, yeah, out, the, we can figure out the semantics later. Basically... The people here aren't going to necessarily risk their lives or their like their legal stance no, with no, people no. that they don't really know that well. And the law does have a reasonable suspicion enough to arrest you and make sure that you don't flee town, especially because they think all the students here have done dastardly things and they think everyone else has run already. So they're saying, well, these four are getting caught and they're not getting away while the rest are off in the woods buck uh, mucking about. 
you ride out the morning in the jail cells and Seb is incredibly fucking calm about the whole thing <laughs> like he walks in the sher- sheriff's like you're under arrest he goes great show me to my cell and then we'll you're just right. sit quietly steepled fingers and just wait wait until father hears of this <laughs> so you're um, just leaving Chaz and Higgins to no, no, sweat Chaz and the Higgins church? are Chaz and Higgins are gone like you will be found oh, you soon enough got... okay. all four of you are getting getting uh, grabbed that's up that's fair enough locked away for the morning Eventually, Professor Harold will return to town. Uh, he drives in and, in a panic, uh, asks about what happens, asks where everyone is, uh, and eventually finds the four of you uh, in jail. Uh, he very much adopts Seb's stance, which is you don't have a case for one, and B, they're under my care, and after yelling back and forth, eventually um, the sheriff and the deputy have a conversation privately, and when they return, the sheriff agrees to hand over the three, the four of you rather, into the professor's uh, hands, and you will be driven out of Cobb's Corners wait, and wait, back to the wait, Miskatonic. Wait, wait, where's Blaine? Where's Blaine? Anyone got eyes on Blaine? No one knows where Blaine is. No one knows, no one knows where stuff. Blaine is. How are you even running this town? Honestly, the professor very much says this isn't the last we're hearing of this, and we're going to continue to find out what happened but uh he isn't thrilled with the three of you four of you rather either um he just this whole thing has gone terribly um and he's very much like a once we get back uh, this will be discussed further um you'll be put on a car and driven out of town hey professor you got four of us out like that's that's not bad from what we've seen Oof. you should be grateful you got four of us out uh seb has two things mm-hmm one is as we're leaving uh is going to look towards the sheriff and say it was a pleasure meeting you sheriff it is always fascinating fascinating how people are completely blind sometimes to what is directly in front of them i hope i never see your face again and then i will leave and then to the professor, if he's like kind of in a in a shitty mood towards us, uh, Seb will quietly just say, "I understand my uncle Oswald is still on the ethics committee. <laughs> um, I think I'd like to have a word to him about this." And hopefully that shuts him up for the rest of the fucking journey. Nips it in the bud. Yep. Can um, you get Chaz some and words to the, uh, to the town. Yeah. Yeah, if I can lock eyes with Cutter one last time, I'll see. Uh, he's seriously wounded. Uh, That's alright. He's 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 got like a looks like a broken arm or something. Um, Great. That said, surprising he's up at all, really. Yeah. But go on. Still walking. Look me up in Arkham if you ever want to go for a round two. <laughs> he doesn't say anything in return. But he meets your eye. I'm just saying, you had the hometown advantage this time, so we'll see how we do in my town. Right. Hell yeah. Katie? <laughs> Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> I've been Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> right. um, you're all uh, driven back to Brattleboro and put on a train heading into uh, Arkham. The professor stays in town. Uh, he has lawyers he needs to meet with, and then he needs to go back and try and find what remnants of the students there still are, because there's Ugh. a bunch of them fucking missing. Um, I will. So he'll need to track them down. I do have one last question. It's not really a parting word, but something I will say to the professor as mm-hmm. we're boarding the train. I uh, assume he puts us there. Um, what what's going to happen regarding like credit for the assignment? <laughs> like. <laughs> Is this just is just this a, is this just a wash or will it knock down our GPA or? Is show, him fairly... the, show him the show him the rock show him the rock. I, show him the rock. Yeah, I I I found it. I found a, a new element. We Passes found all it. the tests. We all we found it. Yeah, we 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 banded together, and we all kind of came together at the last kind of moment. And yeah, we we did a pretty good job. He seems fairly flustered, in the face of together. losing a, a half dozen students at least. <laughs> Well, that means, um, if any reason, that means we should all get a pass. Uh, he says, you definitely so, talk to Mr. Professor Learmonth when you're back. He'll be interested in the in the element, and I'm sure something can be arranged, but rest assured, none of this is resolved. There'll be further questions, and we'll get to the bottom of all this, Miss Wilkes. And the train departs, heading back towards Arkham. 
I kind of would like to look at, at my two, three companions on the train. I assume, has Higgins, is Higgins just completely comatose at this point? He's not comatose, he's begun to get back to it a little okay. bit. Uh, now that he's, now that the day has come, he's alone. He seems to be kind of just ignoring things that have happened a little bit. Uh, that's it, he's not completely out of it. Like, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he is he's welcome more, to he's more normal. Of, all right, he's, he's, he's welcome to hear this or not. I don't care, but I'm at yeah. least going to look at Chaz and Katie and say, with your brains and your brawn and my money, we are going to find out what the fuck happened. Yeah, all right. Get out my we're going to come back. We're going we're gonna to find out what happened to... Chaz, if we come back here, rest assured, that place is going to burn. You do not ever put a McAfee in fucking jail. That's right. And I know I said, like, when we were creating these characters, that, like, we were going to make none of them, like, we would try to give some of them redeeming qualities, and it was going to be, know, like... You the occasional one. Yeah, and, like... I feel like originally it was like, no, Chaz was going to be a bit of a bully, but actually, like, and the other two are kind of... No, Seb is now full, like, evil fucking mastermind. Like, he is just... Yeah, if you if you want to know where Seb's going, not a good place. Okay, He's no. absorbed uh, Laszlo's powers. Oh, he's... No. <laughs> Laszlo was all bluster. Seb is, like, white cat thrown <laughs> fucking pissed. Oh, uh, you'll, have, you'll have plenty of time to put your schemes into motion. Uh, the Dave, three are, you you... Call, are you feeling generous to enough to call that the uh, resolution of the scenario? Because yeah. I don't know what we got. Uh, all of you will head back into Arkham, um, and you will have a couple of weeks before the break ends and the new semester resumes. Um, there will be, obviously, uh, repercussions and further investigations as you find out what happened, and also as legal charges are levied against the three of you with uh, priority given to young Mr. Dedrick over here. Um, when you come back, uh, you will be quickly scheduled a meeting with the Dean of Students um, to talk about uh, the events and also about where that leaves you um, with your studies. And uh, as we find the three of you out on one of the lawns, the sun's up, birds are chirping in the nearby areas and students are filtering along the lawn and, and talking amongst one another. The three of you have reconvened and are waiting to go up and meet with the Dean and just as you're heading inside, uh, you stop and look over because something's caught your eye. Leaving one of the buildings across the way, heading down the steps and across the lawn, is Clarissa Thurber and Terence Laszlo talking closely and heading towards the library. Um, oh, but we'll see just no. what happened with that when we pick up chapter two of A Time to Harvest. So we've got some uh, improvement roles to make and uh, similar nonsense. There'll be two weeks where you can have done some like small downtime and things. And there then when we pick it back up... Absolutely no way those two are, are the real because neither of them would ever talk to each other. Oh, they're such good friends. So, of course. Uh, uh, when we pick back up, we're starting chapter two of A Time to Harvest. We'll be back next week. We're going straight into it. Um, it's going to be a slightly different vibe. If this was spring break, this is going to be returning to school. So the trio are going to be juggling classes and other homework and making sure they don't get expelled um, yeah. while they try and figure out what the hell's going on. Um, but yeah, we'll pick that up next week. Uh, and remember that we're doing a giveaway as well. So that's going to be pretty yeah. cool. So all sorts <laughs> of good stuff. We are still alive. I wasn't expecting that. For I us. thought Thanks, Chaz. Chaz. I thought Chaz might have. Uh, he got pretty bloody nope. lucky there. That was that was that was close. All right. Uh, also, if Chaz mentioned that there was some magic bullshit, you had better fucking believe that with a power of eighty, Seb is going there. Time for a little bit of wizard. Hey. Hey. Finding some wizard shit. We got to elect a wizard in every one of our campaigns, don't we? Someone to make things go really. Well, it doesn't. I mean, it could also be. Uh, it could also be Katie, given the very good math. Yeah, I guess we'll see. All right, thank you all so much for playing and thank you everyone so much for watching. We'll be back next week as we pick up chapter two. Thanks, Time Dave. to Harvest. Thank you. All right, we're out.